Hey there, Willow. I'm about to start. I'm just trying to make sure I got everything I need. I got like two drinks here, a soda and some water, which my water I left in the freezer, so it's now frozen to a solid piece. So, all right, I am about to get started. Just give me another minute and we will start the game officially. This is the first time I've booted it up, first time I'm playing it, so I'm excited. No spoilers. Well, except like elements that will help me say like progress in gameplay that's all like that's the only thing I want to I want to know guys all right give me just a moment and we'll begin Let me fit down here I am so uncomfortable in this chair but no I know what's making me uncomfortable it's these shoes <sighs> okay here we go I'm about to start hello everybody cat the gamer gal we're going to be playing Mass Effect Drama. This is the first time I'm doing it, and I'm excited. Also, um, we are going to be playing as a male character. I'm going to be playing as Bro Rida, because we can. Now, who's ready to go right on in the galaxy of Andromeda, huh? Anyone? Nobody's doing, no, no Rider puns? I'm still going to work on those Rider puns, I promise. <laughs> All right, let's get started. Also, I think I know- I think I might leave his name as default, so I'm not sure yet. Let's see. Can I actually- Yeah, I'm gonna- it may look weird to you guys, but I gotta do this for me, because I am on- uh, I'm, I still got the chat up, so I ha it looks a little weird. I will. Our height's already at 100, which- 100's perfect. Alright. I'll do surround for now, because I'm, I'm listening through- I'm listening to it through my headset. And I think what I'm going to do is, I'll brighten it up by maybe two, no two notches. Okay, I'll do it by two notches. I think that's good. Everyone, we good with this? I'm going to actually go through the settings and try to put subtitles on before I officially start. I'm hoping that it does put me through the main menu first. Please let it be a main menu first. Alright, oh, wow. Uh, okay, let's just say yes. Yes. Okay, good. Wow, that is such tiny text. All right, hold on. Let's go to settings and let's fix this up. All right. Wow. Okay. I I, I don't know. Uh, what's this mean? Uh, set the range of volume and the, the game we use. Okay. Well, we'll do cinema. Cinema. So. Okay. Keep Sarah. You know, I'm I'm definitely gonna do Bro Rider. So uh, we're definitely. I may keep Scott's name. So that's that's for certain. That's good. Hundred. Let's put that at. Uh, like right there. Sound effects go lower than that because sound effects are always so much louder than everything else in the game. And voices definitely at 100%. Oh, it's already enabled. Oh my god, thank you. Thank you. This is always disabled for me. Uh, let's see. Rhythmic, thank, thank you, Rhythmic, for joining us. Willow, you said you'll be able to hear everyone call them it. Yeah, I know. Uh, Rachel, when Rachel posted a picture of her, of her, uh, film writer, she left it as Sarah. And I was like, oh my god, they actually say it? So I'm like, <laughs> I'm really excited. Alright, and I think that's it, right? Is everything? Let's press... What? I'm pressing A, so I'm, I didn't know. Uh, let's just press B. Yes, apply. So, yep, that's applied. Graphics. Uh, no, we already done it. Film grain. And let's see. Film grain is post-process effect that stimulates the texture of process photography. Uh, I'll keep it on for now, but if it starts bothering me, I will turn it off. Thank you, Gamers Platform. That's my buddy, Adam. He's, uh, his channel is called Gamers Platform. Thank you for hosting me. <laughs> Willow's like, oh, should I die in the first wave on multiplayer? Oh, don't cry. Don't cry, Willow. It's okay. You'll win the next one. I promise. <laughs> uh, wait, hold on. Let me see here. Um, wow. My nose really itches. <laughs> I don't even know what this was. Uh, post processing to simulate the effect of neural diffusion of color. Okay, yeah, well, you know, we'll keep that on there. We'll keep that on. There. Yay, Rhythmic! Thank you for posting the link to his channel. I appreciate it. I'll leave gameplay on. This should be. Oh no, no, this has got to be super high. This way, I could turn the camera super fast, and nobody would have to worry about it. I'll turn the vehicle sensitivity up just a little bit. Sprint? No, toggle, toggle to sprint. Tog no, not toggle when it comes to aiming. Uh, sustained controls. I'll, I think I'll do hold. 
definitely enable vibration. I know you guys are probably like, oh my god, just start the game, cat. But I just... I, I'm just... I'm really excited. Oh crap, did I just... Yep, I did. Sorry. And Rhythmic, you're hosting me. Thank you. <laughs> I'm sorry that I'm taking forever with this, guys. I promise I'll finish it up. It's just I really gotta make sure that I got everything in order. Okay, yes, confirm. Gameplay. Let's see. Disable. Yeah, no. Enable all the tutorials and every auto level up. Nope. Disable. Uh, yeah, contextual because I prefer it being like showing up sometimes and then when it's done, it goes away. Uh, rider's helmet. Off in conversations. Uh, off in gameplay and conversations. Yes. Um, off in gameplay and conversations. Subtitles enabled. I think that's everything. I think we're ready. I am ready. I am. Wait, customize character. Quick start. Oh no. No, I, I. The thing is, I actually want to look at the customization, but I may leave Scott Ryder as default. Maybe. So we are definitely gonna. We're definitely gonna do Sarah. We're definitely gonna create Sarah's look. Like actually change her look. But Bro Ryder, I might actually leave. I may leave Scott Ryder as default because he is cute. <laughs> okay. Okay. Let's do this. I'm so excited. <gasps> Shh. All these loading screens, why is that bar going up so slow? Did it freeze? Okay, no, thank god. I was like, I was having a panic attack there. I was like, please don't freeze. I just, I just booted you up for the first time. <gasps> Here he is, he's so cute. Oh my god, I can, oh my god, I can rotate him all the way around. Oh my god. He's so cute. All right, well, I do want to play as, as Bro Rider, but actually, hold on, Willow, Willow, let me ask you this. Can you customize your twin through here and them still look like the... Oh, no, 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 wait, no, I remember. You create the rider you're playing as, and then it'll pop up the next menu, letting you conf well, confirm the first character, and then if you want, you can actually customize the second character from there, right? Is, is that how it works? I think that's how it worked, right? Oh, there we go. Never mind. It's right. I'm so I'm stupid. I see it right there. It's right there in front of me. I'm so dumb. Never mind. Never mind. Don't answer that. Delete everything you were just gonna type. <laughs> or no, never mind. Under you choose name. There is a twin. <laughs> oh my god. Yeah. I'm so dumb. I'm sorry. <laughs> like you just said it, and like right as I noticed it, you're like, nope. Oh, my alarm's going off. <laughs> That's my uh, Resident yeah, Evil you're... Seven alarm. Let me turn that off real quick. There. Maybe you heard a little bit of Metal Gear Solid music from there. Alright, anyways. Uh, let's see. Let's do custom ap- Oh. Yeah, I want to look at the custom appearance. So. <laughs> it's cute. Oh, shucks. Rhythmic. Alright. I am going to look through the, through the options here, but I am keeping him as default because I really love the default bro rider because he is cute. Like I said, he's cute. Rhythm is like, wait, Metal Gear Survive, though. Mm, ew. Yes, very ew, because I don't like Metal Gear Survive. Like, I'm still disappointed in Bioware. Or, or, wow, I was going to say Bioware. What's wrong with me? Konami. I'm very disappointed in Konami. Let's see. The only head I liked was... Let's see. Which one was it? I just saw it. Where did it go? All right, yeah. Let's just select this one at first and just see what we do from here. Okay. Skin tone, brow, cheek, mouth, nice. But that's not what we want. And I seen this from um 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 uh what's what's his face? Uh oh my god, what's his name? What's his name? Biofan. There we go. Biofan showed off all the hairstyles for both male and female, but I actually wanted to like see them on my on the big screen. So uh let's see. Hey there, blue, welcome to the stream. Uh, you said, so how do you feel about the Metacore reviews? Uh, what, for, um, for, for, um, Andromeda? I actually did not look at them, because I want to play this game with my own opinions. So. Alright, well, apparently we can have Scott's hairstyle, but, like, the default Scott's hairstyles, but, you know. Anyway, um, hold on just a moment.
Okay, sorry, I was ch uh, checking something real quick. All right, see, yeah, this is default Scott's hairstyle. Hmm. And Rizmiki also saw the gameplay for Metal Gear Survive. Yeah, no, I like as soon as I saw the trailer for it, I was done. I was like, Psh, nope, nope. Anyway, so that's Scott's default hairstyle, which I love that. So I'm glad that they let you, let you keep it. That one has spike in the front. That one's kind of that kind of reminds me of Alistair just a little bit, just 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 a smidge. Cool little frohawk kind of like look. <laughs> oh Willow, what's the matter? Kind of like that one too. <gasps> the hair has physics. <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm sorry. That was probably awful. Ooh, isn't that Papa Ryder's hairstyle? It totally is, though. Okay. I think that looks that looks very similar to Liam. You're trying to host me too? <gasps> I love this hairstyle. That's like a, my, one of my favorite Fallout 4 hairstyles. Man, why can't I keep his defa his face as default and give him that hairstyle? <laughs> you know. Um actually uh Okay, I know how to do it. Uh you have to go through your settings. Uh, on your piece on the PC version of Twitch Willow like go into your settings and I think like in the connections tab on like toward the bottom there's like a little area that uh, that is all about hosting you just like put auto hosting then type my name save it and like a little later it should auto host me or if you want to host host me I don't I don't know what the actual button prompt is to host me though I, I don't remember it I think rhythmic might know or or blue, whom is Justin C Dub in the in the chat here? I'm not sure. I think one of them know knows the actual prompt. I'm not sure what it is myself. I have everybody on auto hosting myself just to keep it. There is no prompt. Okay, so I wonder like what button would you press? Like what would you do then to like go ahead and start? Um, what's the word? Uh, hosting. Okay, you have to type it in your own chat. Oh, okay. So in Willow's on Willow's page, she would have to. Okay, there you go. Uh, do you see it, Willow? That's what you have to type in your chat on your on your page. Oh, where's Scott's hairstyle? It was the first one, right? Yeah, this is Scott's this default hairstyle. Okay, we're just gonna pick that just to just to look at it. What? What? Oh my God, these hairstyles, though. Oh. Oh my god. So many choices. Oh my god. Oh, and there's multicolor ones. What is this sorcery? What is this madness? So many. What? Why can't I change default bro riders look? This is hair to hair. I want to change. It. Oh God. Okay. Okay. I'm done nerding. Facial hair. They're like yes, I want to see the facial hair. Uh, let's see. Yay, Willow! You're finally hosting me. Good job. And you're like so many. <laughs> it is. There's so many colors. Okay. Now let's look at the beers. Okay. I like this. Oh, where to go? Oh, it. it okay. So zero's nothing. Mustache. I think that's what Al Chespirici did. Like, I actually seen his pit, like his his two screen, uh, his two videos, but I haven't seen seen them. I've seen like them in my feed. I was like, oh my god, Al Chespirici is playing this game, and he's such a goofy guy. I didn't expect him to play. Okay, this is really weird. Okay, that's the only beard I don't like. What what is that? Did he take like a razor and just go straight across his face and left the pat? Well, that is a weird. That's a weird shave job. I'm sorry. The chin, mm-hmm. The full-on beard, which is what I would do if it were a lighter tone. So, yeah, those are, those are, that's okay. Yeah, that seems okay. Hombre. Yeah, that's what I like, too, this whole uh, whole thing where it goes around the entire mouth like that. And I thought that was the last one. So, yeah, like this hair, uh, this beard, or this beard, or just no beard. Like, that's the three choices I would pick, especially on this. All right. And I think eyes. Ooh. This is exactly like this is exactly like Dragon Age. Oh my god! It's so cool. That's what I don't understand. Okay.
Okay. Actually, let me do light. Like, I'm just testing this out. Unfortunately, I can't do this to default Shep- or, Well, I was about to call him Shepard. <laughs> but yeah, I can't do this to default Bro Rider, which kind of stinks. But they have their reasons why they do this, I think. So, but yeah, like I would make his eyes like super blue if I had that choice. But I cannot recreate him. Oh my god, all this stuff. And then scar tissue. Oh yes, let's look at the scars. Let's look at the scars. White, no. Wrong, incorrect. This is, I gotta remember, it's the triggers that, that turn them around. So we got no scars. Got a nose scar, I guess. Cheek scar. Yeah. Temple scar. What kind of a scar is that? <laughs> it's like, did you, did you like, went up to a super hot honeycomb there? <laughs> right? <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm awful. Okay, I will admit, even though it's like a honeycomb style, it actually does look a little cooler on the, like, across the nose. Even though it's a little odd. Okay. Now that looks really cool. Oh, that's cool too. Ooh. And then all scattered across the cheek on that side. I think it's the same on this side. Yeah, it's the, that's the one that he had just moments ago. There's so many scar choices. I'm actually really glad that they brought that back. Especially since the Mass Effect 2 and 3 did not have those again after the first one did. Looks like burns, like scar burns, per per chance, or by chance, per chance, by chance. Wow, that poor left eye looks so messed up. Cool. And then I guess yeah, the intensity like shows you how deep it goes. So we'll pick a scar and we'll look at it here. Ooh, I like that. Hey, Gluji. I'll read your comment just a second. I promise. Uh, let me see. Let me make sure. Okay, now these scars are starting to well, not that one, but. This one's starting to look a little artistic, if you know what I mean. Like, very artsy. <laughs> okay. And then last one's over here. Okay, so let's pick a scar. Just something to choose for now. Let's just say this across the across this side. So this actually makes it... Okay, so that's super intense. And then this is like... Like... Okay, that's nice. Alright, Glidgy said... Uh, you remember the horse you named in Breath of the... Uh, the, the horse you named in Breath of the Wild? I think I do, yeah. So, uh, yes, I named I named him Black Beauty. That was the name I chose, because why not? <laughs> Ooh, tattoos. Okay, let's look at tattoos now. We're definitely going to keep him on default, but I just wanted to look at all this stuff real quick. That was something I already said I wanted to do. What kind of a tattoo is that? Some of this stuff is just so odd, but then again, it's the future. The future is weird. It's a very weird and odd place. Ooh. Yeah, beauty. What? Gluji, what did you do to the horse? What did you do to that poor horse? You brought this upon yours. You brought this to her. It's your fault. <laughs> okay, that one looks... That actually reminds me of some... I don't know what that reminds... That tattoo reminds me oh, Wow, an entire neck tattoo. Does it go all the way... I can't tell. I guess it goes all the way around the neck. Like, whoa. Cool. Okay, that that is... It's pretty cool. Okay, out of all the tattoos, like if you wanted to make a true and uh, like a true badass kind of character, like that would be a really cool tattoo to pick. And then just like, you know, make it like literally make it as black as possible. I'm doing the wrong one. Make it as black as possible. Or if you're doing, you know, um, you know, a dark skinned character, make it white. So, you know, it would look much better on the, fa on the character's face. Anyway. Uh, no, not. I'm actually gonna go back to like no tattoos. But yeah, like I wanted. I'm just gonna pick default rider though because, I mean, come on, default rider's cute, guys. Just shh. okay. <laughs> All right, we are actually going to do. Wait, which? Okay, so security. Uh, concussion shot. No, it's more like soldierish and biotic. Nope. I mean, I love I love the biotic abilities and tech. I just. I'm not good at using those things myself. I'm more of a... Is this the right one? Yeah, there it is. Technician's the one I'm more used to. Or, uh... God, what's that one in the previous titles? Uh... Infiltrator. Like, this is the closest thing to Infiltrator. Uh... That I, th that I think I can do. You see, Energy Drain, Annihilation... Uh, nope. Scrappa, Charge, Combat Fitness, and... Ch wait, Charge twice? What? 
Uh, operative, technic. Oh, here it is. Operative and technician are the two that I that I would like. Those are the mixtures of the two that I like. All right, let me see here. Uh, Rhythmic and and uh, Blue, you both are laughing at poor Gluji. And Gluji says uh, about the hor uh, about Beauty, which is his horse from uh, Breath of the Wild. Uh, you said that she died from a guardian. She got one shot from an explosive later. I feel awful when she died. Aww, poor Gluji. I'm sorry. Now I really do feel bad because that was that was one of your that was the horse that you had, you know, like your first horse. Now that I think about it, that was your very first horse. Mm. All right, hold on, guys. I'm I'm actually kind of reading this real quick. Let me let me read these real quick, and uh, then I'll make a decision. Okay, guys. I think I've made. I think I've made my choice here. I am going to pick technician. That's going to be the. That's going to be the, the class I'm going to start with. I mean, I was going to do operative. I was actually thinking about doing operative because I got the tactical cloak. But I think doing technician would probably. Well, no, actually, no. No, I'm doing operative. I mean, this is my first start. I don't want to. I don't want to do this game on easy. I mean, normally when I play these games, I actually do it, I will do it on easy at first, mainly because I want to get through the story first, and then when I play it again, I, up, I bump up the difficulty, and that's pretty much what I do. So, but because I want, this is my first time running through this, I, and I am doing it mainly for story, I do want a little bit of a challenge, so just like with the walkthrough, I'm going to put this on normal, and I won't lie, guys, if it does get a little difficult, I'm not going to lie to you, I may put it on easy just because I want to get through the story the story to me is a little bit more important right now than all that other stuff at the moment but we will probably sit down and discuss the gameplay and all that stuff when it comes time but I don't want to lie to you guys I want to be I want to be as serious and as straightforward with the with what I'm doing as possible uh, real quickly before I do the rest of the stuff over here um, let's see yeah blue and rhythmic are both poor they're just they say they can't stop laughing when they read Gluji's <laughs> message or his, his thing out loud and Gluji said it wasn't my first horse but it was the first one to die that sucks and Willow you're like oh and I know you're probably talking about Gluji's horse I know it sucks <laughs> poor beauty I feel awful oh no we're leaving at Scott we're leaving at Scott don't worry we're leaving we're leaving at Scott now customize the twin yes I am going to customize her I want her to be custom. I'm gonna actually go through all these little options here because I actually want to know what options I could choose from. She's going to be super cute. Wait, that's actually that's actually Sarah's hairstyle. Like what? See, that's the one thing I do like is that they have the default hairstyles still, which is awesome. <laughs> all right, let's see. Wow, they have two of the same hair. Okay, never mind. I'm not gonna. Even... Okay, that actually looks like a good face to start from, but let me see the first head. Um, yeah, I'm going to actually start from head number two. So we'll pick... Uh, resetting will discard your customization. Yes, please, it's okay. Alright, now let's do skin tone. Let's actually make it just a tad lighter here. Let's actually make her just about the same skin color as... I'm going to be male uh, bro rider. I'm going to be playing as Scott. Um, that's why I was able to do most of his customizations real quick and choosing his name. So we are definitely gonna be playing a Scott Rider, um, but I want to I want to customize the sister because I do want her to look pretty. Actually, make her brow just a little bit lower, and let me 
Let me turn her. See how far out the brow can go. The uh, brow looks okay right there. Alright, cheeks. Let's actually change the hairstyle real quick to something shorter. Let me see. What's the first hairstyle? First one's Sarah's hairstyle. And it's actually a cute hairstyle too. Okay, and I think <laughs> that's like sh that's like my fem ship's hairstyle right now. <laughs> I do like this one. I think I'm gonna actually choose this one for um, my Sarah rider. So I'm definitely gonna choose that that hairstyle because that's the reason why I picked that face. This face because that hairstyle that was on there. Okay, let's see. Oh, that's cute. Oh, that's cool. Nice. All right, let's see. Like that's my hairstyle right now. <laughs> <laughs> My hair got uh, trimmed, uh, layer like it got trimmed here at home. So it's got it's like a really nice. It's a little bit shorter now. Oh. Okay, yeah, that, like, I can do that one too. Let's see, and of course the ball. Well, we're gonna pick the one that I think had the hair behind the ears, all the way. No, yeah, we're gonna pick the short hairstyle just so I can customize the face better. So we're definitely gonna leave all that. Oh, we're gonna more or less customize her face real quick. Try to make her look real cute. See, I keep using the right stick, moving the right stick, thinking I'm rotating her, and I can't. I have to use the triggers. Okay, let's see. Uh, cheek height is at ten already by default, so let's just see. Okay, let's do it at thirteen. Cheek width. It's actually let's actually slim them down just a little bit. Just just you know, yeah, like that. And cheek bone width is at ten. I'm trying to see, like, I'm actually trying to see it being moved as I'm doing this. Okay, so. You can kind of see it from that angle. Here we go. It's going to be a little difficult. The screen is a little bit, it's like a little bit minimized as well because I do have the chat up. So it's a little harder to see um, the character, like, in full view. That's the only way I'm able to, I'm able to read y'all's uh, comments and stuff. Alright, let me see. Let me actually do it from this angle. And let's see the chin height. Let's actually I don't know, this is this is probably better if we do it like this. That way I can see the height better. Let's actually make it a little shorter. But 13, yep. Yeah. Uh depth. Uh it says it's it's 14. Okay, let's actually leave it at 14. It looks okay at 14. Uh Gluji, you said, and I may have found something that would work. It's a capture card. Oh, that's cool. That's good. Yeah, especially since you said you wanted to record Breath of the Wild, as far as I remembered, right? You said you wanted to record that. That sounds like a good idea. Whoops, I forgot. Width of the jaw. That's much better. Oh my god. You guys see, like, how, like, squared her jaw is? And then this thing makes it look nice and soft and round. And that's how a female is supposed to look. Not all females. Not all females, but I definitely want my Sarah to have, like, a more soft rounder face so that actually does look nice the jawline needed to come down a little bit i'll me put it up like my more um oh were you okay will i think you're asking glue okay so i'll leave that comment alone let's see eye height okay so no eye styles okay that's fine let's see let's see was that 10 let's see how like how low and high those go uh i'll do it around six ish uh, let's see, Gluji said the only problem being is using AV cords and not HDMI. Well, yeah, that's true. A lot of the a lot of the capture cards nowadays are all HDMI capable. Let's see. Oh, depth. Right. Let's do it sideways here. Uh, we'll do it at 11, and then width, which I might bring them a little close. Yeah, I'll mean that. That's good. That's it. I'm like that's done. Her eyes are done. <laughs> like nope. Thickness is at 10. Let's just see. Okay, that makes him a little bit th that makes him awfully th like that's awfully thin. You know, I'll leave him at ten. Uh, height. Put it down at nine. Depth. Yeah, it's suck it suck him in by just one. And width. I don't really like how the lip kind of looks though. It's weird. It just the lips seem a little odd. Like I can't choose the particular like lip style I like. Uh, Willow, you said it's not at all like D Dragon Age Inquisition in custom riders. We can't change the shape of their lips, eyes, eyebrows. It kind of yeah, that is true. That is true. 
You know, after they did that with Dragon Age Inquisition, I was like, oh my god, I can't wait for Andromeda to do that. And now I see we're just working with sliders again. Okay, that is the one thing I will I will be really icky about right now. If they could do that with Inquisition, why couldn't they bring that over for Andromeda? Like, yes, I understand it might be a newer form of the engine, perhaps, but they had the tech, like they had the know-how to create that type of setup. Because I think that doing that particular setup is actually really easy. But still, like it it just kind of stinks that they didn't do that at all. I will admit that right now. I do agree with uh, with Willow on that. Uh, let's see, Kluji said, I found, wow, in all caps, <laughs> I found it lying around the house. Just something that my dad got for free at work, and I assure you that the thing has never been plugged into anything. <laughs> cool. Uh, Willow, you, Willow, you said, that's the only thing that, yeah, that, that is, yeah, you're, I do agree. She says that's the only thing that makes her upset, and I agree that that makes me upset as well, because I wish that we had that char character customization that we do in Inquisition. Because that was one of my favorite things about Inquisition was that particular setup for character customization. Just going back to sliders again, like in the previous three titles, is upsetting, you know? I don't know why. I mean, come on. They had that technology. I don't know why they had to revert back to something old and outdated. <laughs> Alright. Like, I could really just, like... The bottom lip just feels like it's coming out a little too far for me. Like, I would love to just sink it in just a little bit, make the lips even. Like, that's me. I prefer my lips to be on even, like, even Steven is the best way to explain it. Alright, I'll leave it at 8 for now. Alright, nose. Nose height. Uh, nose is okay. Depth. Bring it out just a little bit. Yeah, one more. No, bring it back in. Uh, <laughs> yes, so many hours in customization. I agree. Oh my god, like... You remember my Avgrim when I first played it on the 360? I spent over two and a half hours creating his face, and most like, and the majority of that was me working on his eyes, because <laughs> I was very very picky. I remember those days. Those days are gone now. But anyways, <laughs> okay, nose width. Uh, where we started at 10. Okay, yeah, let's sink it in, make it a little cute nose, like a little cute button nose. It's not as buttony as I'd like it to be, but it's close enough. Alright, nose size. That's at 17. Let's see. Wait, I probably would see it better if I do it. Okay, yeah, no. Let's actually... Let's actually leave it at 17. It looks fine. Looks fine. Alright, hairstyle. We're actually going to go back to that hairstyle we had. Well, which one was it? Not that one. Uh, was it number three? Yes, this one. I I love this hairstyle. It's so cute. I love this physics. I, I will say this though, Willow. I love the physics. I love the hair physics in Andromeda. Oh my god. <laughs> they learned something from Dragon Age Inquisition. And Dragon Age 2, perhaps. Uh, Gluji says, I can't change the lips the way I want. What kind of awful game is this? <laughs> Yeah, like they, and that's another thing too. In fact, if I remember correctly, the first three Mass Effect games, you had the ability to change the 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 uh, the style of the nose, the eyes, the lips, and the brows. But here, it's all, it's literally all one design. All you can do is just change where it where it's located on your face and the size of it. That's it. The actual style is the only thing you can't change. I will admit, that is a teeny bit disappointing to me. Like, actually no, not a teeny bit. That is strictly disappointing. Like, that is really disappointing. Not being able to change the particular style of the eyes. Which, some of the other characters look like... Like, some of the other default characters, that you or custom characters that you could pick from, look like their styles are all different. But here, I'm like, I... I can't change any of them. Like, I pick a, I, I pick a, a preset, yeah, look, there it is. Yeah, look. Let me read, let me read uh, here. Uh, Blue, you said, you messed with it at EA Access. I was disappointed. Uh, it's like you have to change the presets to get the features you want. I hate that. Yeah, like, that's what I was just about to say, too. Like, it seems like all the pre, like, all the custom presets that I could pick from, each one of them has a different style. You just pick the one that you like the best and just customize from there with what's already on the face. So, that's a, that's very upsetting. Luckily for my bro, my bro rider, I love him as default, because, like I said, 
He's cute, okay? Default Rider is cute. You guys leave me alone. Default Bro Rider is cute. But for Fem, for Fem Rider, I did want to change her because I wanted to play with the whole settings. But, I don't know. It's just... Yeah, Willow's like, just grrr. <laughs> exactly. But I think she's coming out good, though. I will admit that. I think my... My, I'm hoping that she came out good, because she still looks cute. She does. So, I'm hoping. Guys, I'm really hoping. <laughs> Just, I really hope she looks cute. I may actually give her one of these, like, colorful hairstyles. Like, maybe one of these red hairstyles. I don't know yet. Like, just because I want to make her so cute and pretty. Like, I already had, like, a head cannon in my head. Like, alright. He's going to be the super serious type, and he's very professional, and the sister's going to be, like, laid back and not care. You know, but still, you know, she will be professional when she wants to be. Like, that's, like, my whole idea. And plus, she's older by five minutes or whatever. Even And that's kind of, like, quote-unquote confirmed. It's not really confirmed, but still, like, the actors had had their play day on that. Anyway, uh, let's see. Lily, Lily, you said, I just want the pretty eye shapes, lip shapes and such. I, yes, I agree. I want to be able to change the, the shapes and the styles. Of the eyes and the lips, especially. Well, mainly, mainly, mainly the little, mainly the lips. Like the lips are bothering me more than anything else on her face. And I will, uh, I hate to say that, but that is true. The, the, like the lips really bother me. But I can't fix them. I've done everything I can to make them as pretty as possible. Um. Uh, also, uh, Blue, you said earlier uh, before Willow's comment, you said like the Bethes like Bethesda games with the presets and shuffle the presets with the sliders and stuff well i don't know i mean now that they kind of did the whole thing with mods on consoles like people can now kind of have that taste of more hairstyles and stuff and i really applaud them for at least trying to help you know, or, you know try, like giving us that that little inch of power i guess or that little tip of power i don't know uh, Gluji, you said, I always find it frustrating when they don't give you enough to work with on a character for hours on end. Yes. Which is why I prefer Inquisition's character customization more than anything. Dragon Age Inquisition had the best, to me, the best character customization ever. You know, next to the Saint Rose, like Saint Rose the Third and Saint Rose the Fourth, like those two. Considering those, like, like those are on level two because you can customize the body and everything, but like, on face you know, customization, Dragon Age Inquisition to me has the best because it's literally, you can customize them to make them look exactly like you, to make them look exactly like another character, like another person in real life, you know, and that's what people did, and like, that's what they did with Fallout, like, with Fallout, they they created, like, the presidents, and the, or they would create an actress or something, or an actor, that's why I like certain customizations, and... Actually, if I think about it, yeah, Dragon Age, Inquisition, and Fallout 4 have the exact, like, very similar setups. You pick a style, and you can customize that style any way you want. With the big, you know, that big box, and that little cursor that you could just push, pull anywhere on the screen. Like, I love that. And sadly, they, they don't, they don't have that here. And Willow, you said, but at least no more Fifty Shades of Ball. <laughs> oh my god, Yes. They, like, have, like, two different types of bald hairstyles or something like that. And Glue just like, or Emperor Palatine. Oh, my yes. Or Palatine? Pal Palpatine. There we go. It takes me a minute. I will say this, though. There is one thing that, that has redeemed this customization just a teeny, teeny, tiny bit, and it's this hair color thing. Like, I love that they give you all these colorful hairstyles, you know? Like, that's cool. I just don't know what- I mean, I'm looking at this one because I like this one the best, but... Oh my god, I like that one too. Like, I don't know. I want to have- I want to give her this, like, cool blue hairstyle. And just, like... I don't know, it's just so difficult. She's just so cute, and I can't- I can't decide. What do you guys think, though? Like, the ones I'm looking at mostly are this one. And... This one. And this one. Like, this one and this one look very similar. But I think uh, this one's a little bit lighter, and this one's darker. At least that's what it looks like. Yeah, I think this one's a little bit darker. And I, ah, it's really hard to choose. Okay, so one, and we'll do a full 360 here, stopping at like little intervals so you guys can see it. Two, which I'm really liking two right now. God, it's so hard to choose. <laughs> 
and three. Like, uh, I don't know, it's so hard to choose. Uh, Willow, you said the red to orange, that's so pretty. Like, yeah, let's actually look at that. Oh my god, it does look pretty. God! Here I'm wanting to pick like a bluish purple hue, and you're like, oh yeah, do the red and or like the red and orange one's pretty, and it's like, you're making it difficult. You're making it difficult, Caitlin. I swear to God, you're making it hard for, for me to choose. <laughs> like, oh my God, it's so hard. And uh, blue, you said I prefer realistic non-dye colors. Yeah, that, I mean that's true. But for for some reason, to, I mean, okay, for me in my head canon, like as I said, my Scott Ryder for to me in my head canon, like he's the serious professional type. He's tried to improve himself, or like not improve himself, but like make himself. You know, um, like, show his father that he, you know, can get the job done and that he's really good at what he does. While Sarah Ryder, who is older than him, or, you know, he tries to keep, he continues to try and prove himself to his dad. You know, while his twin sister, who is older than him, you know, by a few minutes, um, you know, constantly is, like, goofing off. And, you know, even though she's still good at her job, she's such a goofball. And he's like, how can you be so professional? You are very unprofessional. And she's like, <laughs> You know you love me, little brother. Quit calling me little brother. But you're my little brother by like three minutes. And he's like, I hate you. And she's like, I know. I love you too. <laughs> you know? Oh, I love you too, Willow. Oh, stop it, you. All right. But yeah, it's just hard though. Like, okay. Okay. I'm going to say it right here now. You guys have to choose. Say it right now. I'm going to choose between two hairstyles because this one's going to be one of them. Thank you, Willow. <laughs> All right, let me just see out of these two. I wish I could, like, do it like this, where I'm going over in the same direction, but it goes to the new line. Or, like, a new line of hair color, but it won't do that. All right. All right, between this one and this one. Because that's so pretty. Okay, so the blue to purple, or the orange to blonde-ish yellow. Like, or, or red to orange. Is that the right one? Red to orange? Yeah, red to orange. So, pardon me. Uh, let's see. Yeah, from either this one. Let's do three-fourth. This way. There we go. Three-fourth this way. So, either this hairstyle color or this one. God, that one's really nice. This is so hard to choose. Red to orange. Of course, you, you want red to orange there, Caitlin. I know you do. And it's sad because I like uh, those are my favorite colors because she she looks like she's on fire and I love that. God. I mean, this one seems like she's cool and laid back, you know, but like this one seems like oh, whoops, this one seems like she's like on fire and have energy and that's actually kind of like how I described her before, <laughs> being like the party animal and wild originally. So like she doesn't care about anything. She would dye her hair any wild like she would die at the rainbow if she had a choice so that's what i'm like i don't know it's just hard to choose what about you what about everyone else uh gluji blue and rhythmic and anyone else in the chat what do you guys think one or two <laughs> blue to blue to violet or or i should say lavender it's more like a lavender color so like light like a blue to lavender or red to orange uh, Gluji, you said I had my fair share of feeling awful while playing Breath of the Wild. <laughs> uh, uh, blue, you said, I guess, purple if I had to Okay, so the blue to lavender-ish color. Okay, and then, so that's like one for each. Anyone else? Because <laughs> my, my, my choice is bias. It's like, it's, it's, it's not bias, it's just, it's really hard to pick. <laughs> okay, just I can't choose. I'm awful. <laughs> oh my god. Actually, this is perfect. While you guys are voting, I can get my cup here, and I can take a drink, and um, calm my throat, or soothe, you know, soothe my throat. Gluji said, at one time, I ran over a fox. That was- <gasps> You ran over a fox? How could you, you monster? <laughs> hey, no, at least, you know, no. I'm 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 betting right now. I know Rhythmic's probably typing up the. But you ran over the doggo in GTA Five. You're the monster. I swear. I know. I know he's never gonna let that go. I know you, Rhythmic. You're never gonna let let me live that down. I still feel awful when I did that. It was by accident. 
<laughs> it was an accident. I swear to God, it was. All right. All right, hold on. Let me make sure. Okay, no, I have I have my thing turned down a little bit. Wait, hold on. Let me turn my thing up all the way and let me listen to this. Okay, every time I turn her, I thought the hair was doing a whish, whish, whish noise, but it's just the computer-ish sounds. God, it's so hard to choose. Only two people voted, so you know what? Eeny, meeny, miny, mo, catch a tiger by its toe. If it hollers, let it go, my mom said to pick the very best one and you are not it well that shows you i can't do this blind but it seems like this one was gonna be the one that was not it i guess i can't tell <laughs> uh glad you said at least the dog lived the fox died <laughs> fox die <laughs> liquid snake fox Sna solid snake die look what you started Gluji. because you put the words fox and die next to each other i keep i think of metal gear solid one with the virus uh with a with a genetic virus to fox die now thanks thank you thank you my metal gear solid one memories have come back to me in full swing <laughs> oh which is good don't feel bad that was a good thing all right so we're gonna go with this hill this one i'm sorry We've, i've decided i'm sorry this is just it's so it's perfect. She's on fire. I love it. Like, if I were to pick a different, like, character, I wouldn't give them the blue. Like, if I had... If she was different, I would have picked a blue hairstyle. But, anyway. Now, eye color. Now, that's interesting. I don't want brown eyes, though. That would go good. It's actually, yeah, let's make her eyes green. Let's make them, like, a nice dark green. So, right around uh, here. Which is what? 7, 313... 53. Uh, what was it? 7. So. Come on. 7. 3. 13. Oh, that didn't work out. You know, we're going to just make it as close as we can. Like, look, that's perfect. That, that's, that's close. That's close enough. That's close enough. That's close enough. Does it even look green? Because if not, I'll make them bright. Like, gosh darn. I'm pressing the wrong- I'm using the left stick. Wow. I can't- I, I don't know how to control nothing! <laughs> I'm an awful person. Uh, let's see. Yeah, let's just make those a little bit brighter, because it's really hard to actually see those colored eyes. Make that one a little darker, and then, you know what, I'll make that one a little darker. Let's see. Uh, Willow, you said, damn it, cat, now I'm gonna make a new character for Andromeda so I can have crazy orange hair. I hope she came out good, though. Like, I'm hoping that she came out good, regardless. Um, yeah, I'll make them just a tad bit darker. Okay, that's good. That's good. Uh, eyeliner style. I can't- I can't even see it. Wow. Okay, is that even- like, what? I can't even see the eyeliner. Okay, I can kind of see it. Rhythmic's like- <laughs> I'm just laughing. Where have you been, Rhythmic? <laughs> I'm just kidding. I'm kidding. I know where you've been. Alright, so that's the eyeliner style. Eyeliner color. Definitely wanted as black. Black as night. Because I can't I can't see eyeliner color as any other color. Um, Glue just like, did I hear you say gosh darn? That's bringing back memories. <laughs> yes. Yes, I do say gosh darn when the time is, you know, needed. Make that full... Occupacity. Let's just see what it looks like. Wow, those are the- what? Alright, I can't see anything when it's orangey red. We're gonna make those black, too. Wow, what kind of an eyeshadow is that? Bioware, what's going on with these eyeshadows? What is this madness? Freckles? Like, what? Speckles? What is the- what? No, I don't even see the- what? What? I don't even see it. Where is the eyeshadow on this? Like, I made it black and it's like at full occupa uh, you know, opacity so you can see it. Oh, there it is. Now I can see it. Gosh, it's like really hard to see. Uh, let's see. Nope, nope. 
And uh, that's actually really nice, but mm, it's a little too thick. Let's just do it like this. That way it's still there, so when she closes her eyes, you can see it. But when she opens them, it's really hard to tell, but they're there. So I'll do that. Uh, definitely make it black, like I said, right? Okay. Uh, let's see. Rhythmic says, it looks like fiery hair, and I was gaming slash lurking. <laughs> yeah, that's that's what I wanted to uh, see. Real quick, Rhythmic, in my head canon, like, my my bro writer Scott is like a super serious kind of character you know he's um he he tries to impress his father because he thinks his father's not impressed with his skills while Sarah who is just as equally skilled as her twin brother she's older than him you know by a few minutes in my head canon uh and you know she's like really laid back and chill and she doesn't care she like she's you know she doesn't give a crap about nothing which is why I want her I really like the hair like the hair color for her now because it's really wild and and you know and which is and, and she looks like she's on fire which is perfect because the the type of personality she has <laughs> uh let's see hold on before I do all that uh Gluji said yeah he's jiggling <laughs> that's my line <laughs> like that's what I said Wow. Oh my god. It's no. Like, no. No. Like, and we're not gonna even make it that, like, that. I, like, I wasn't even thinking about how it was gonna look. That actually makes it easier to see her lips, so I might actually go back and quickly customize them before uh, I do anything else. So, lip gloss. I actually like them when they're a little glossy, so let's just put it in, like, yay. No, yay. Yeah. Okay, lip style. Let's see all the lip styles. What is up with these little speckle things? Like, I can barely see that one, whatever that is. Uh, uh, around the bottom lip, it looks like. Or around the whole lip, apparently. I, Oh, I see. It's like, um, it's really hard to tell. But if you look really hard at her lips, it's like circles. Just constant circles. Wow. That actually reminds me of a Skyrim. <laughs> it reminds me of a Skyrim uh, lipstick style. We're just going to do regular full lips. Cause that's just me. I'll turn it down by one more. Cause she's not that big on makeup, but she will definitely make herself look pretty. Like, you know, definitely red, definitely red. Uh, blush? Nope, 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 nope. Please tell me there's no blush. I'm gonna make it black just so I can see. Okay, nope, good. No blush, I'm sorry. It doesn't matter what game it is. Blush, to me, just looks awful in video games. Like, if it was on an actual person, they, they make it look good. But when it's on a character, it just looks weird in a game. I don't know what it is. In real life, blush is really pretty on people. On certain, you know, on people in general. But when it comes to video game characters, blush just does not look good. And I don't know why. It's really weird. I can't explain it. Uh, let's see... Yay, Blue, you toasted me. Thank you. I appreciate it. Thank you. <laughs> oh, whoops. Uh, scars? I don't think I will. I actually will leave her with no scars, in fact. Uh, tattoos? No. Nope. Some of the tattoos just looks really weird. I'm not going to give her any tattoos either, so I'll leave those alone. Um, but yeah, I think she's good. I think she is good. Let me actually just check here. Really? Why? Why, Bioware? Why? Uh, like, I'm clicking the sticks in thinking it'll change something, but it won't. Alright, I said I was going to change the lips a little bit. Uh, let's see. Gluji, like, that reminds me. Gluji is now hosting you. <laughs> Thank you, Gluji. I appreciate it. Oh, you guys are so sweet and awesome-tastic. Thank you. I appreciate it. Like, seriously, guys, you're awesome. Thank you. Alright, let's just change the width a little bit. Because now that I've actually got color on the lips, it makes it easier to actually see what they look like. So, not height. Um, thickness? I think I already turned down the thickness a little bit, so... There we go! Yeah, like at this... Okay, this particular angle, she looks really cute. Does anyone else have an opinion so far on, what she, on, on my Sarah right now? Like, I think she's cute. <laughs> she is super adorable. Oh my god, I love that. I'm just so excited. I know everyone's like, oh, your bro writer's gonna be so boring because it's a default bro writer, but you know what? I don't care. <laughs> but his sister? Mmm. She's so pretty. Oh my gosh. <laughs> I'm just so excited. 
excited. Oh my god. I'm, I'm awful. I need to stop. I need to take like a minute to myself and calm down. <laughs> okay. I don't even know. Like how long have I been doing this? Wow, I've been doing this for an hour. Because I started the game. Well, yeah. Technically I started streaming at at 9.30. It's already almost 10.30. I've been doing this for almost an hour now. Yeah, I'm awful. <laughs> okay. Alright. Let me turn the game up just a little bit in my headset. Uh, if it starts, like, for some reason, if the game's volume, uh, audio starts sounding like it's being echoed, just let me know, and I will turn down the volume in my ear. That way I can still hear it, but you guys probably won't be able to hear it. Alright. Um... Yeah, okay, we're gonna go ahead and confirm. That is her. Oh my gosh, she's so cute. <laughs> Customized history. Uh, oh yes, Femshep. Totally Femshep. Uh, we're gonna be, that's the reason, let's see, this is what I did with my Dragon Age games. Uh, in my Dragon Age games, I decided to, uh, like, in Origins, I created a female character. Continuing from that character in Dragon Age 2, I made a male character. And then back in Inquisition, I created a female character to continue that story branch. It's exactly what I'm doing here with Andromeda. Since I played Fem Shep, I wanted to play as Mel Shep, or uh, Bro Rider. So, uh, when I do another... Um, when I do another playthrough, which will be... I'm going to actually have two playthroughs. One will be private, which will be my Fem Shep. Or, well, my Fem Rider... And then my, this playthrough that's playing right now is my Bro Riders playthrough, which will be streamed on Twitch. So I will have two of these. One for me and one for y'all. And I wanted to play as Bro Rider first, because, come on guys, I uh, I have a crush on Vetra. So I'm definitely wanting to romance Vetra. So yeah, gotta have me that sweet Lady Tyrion booty. And you know it, you know it, Caitlyn. By the way, I saw that you said it's your, your, your broadcasting right now. So excited. Which, by the way, guys, real quickly before I do anything else, um, me and Caitlin, which is Lady Willow 13, we are actually going to do the Mass Effect Andromeda multiplayer tomorrow. So, and we actually found out like our time zones and things like that. Uh, she's actually two hours behind me. So, uh, we will will make a plan, and her and I are going to do multiplayer together on on Andromeda tomorrow. So, I'm very excited for that. Like, oh my god, I'm so excited. <laughs> Elum. Yep. 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 <laughs> Alright, I think I've talked enough. I think I've done... Ooh, what's this? Upload character data? What? Upload your character to Mass Effect... Ooh. <gasps> what? Does that mean... Ooh. Does that mean I can import... Or upload, like, my, my fem writer? Like, oh my gosh. I could upload her. As well, like, I don't know if it'll probably just be brushed. I don't know. We'll, we'll, oh, I'll figure it out. I'll figure it out. All right, let's, uh, yeah, let's keep it at that. No, no, no. Yeah, let's just do it like that. Hold on. Uh, you set up an account with our... I actually don't know if I have an account. I'll go check it out later. I'll do it after stream. Let's see. Male. Mm-hmm. Default appearance. Training. Operative. Yep. Name is Scott. Twin, which is custom appearance. And history is fem Femshep. So let me actually read that real quick. Choose the gender of the legendary Commander Shepard, first human specter, and the hero of the Citadel. Yeah. Um, Commander Shepard was male, Commander Shepard was female. Yeah, we're gonna do Fem Shep. So. Oh my god, guys, I'm so excited. <laughs> Who's ready? Who's ready? Show of hands right now. Please, show hands. Everyone say it right now. Who Who's ready for this? I am so ready for this right now. Please, show me those hands. Raise those hands. All the way up. One, two, both of them, all of them. All 20, 10, 20 of them, I don't care. Just push, throw them up, say you're ready. Or even, heck, do, do the do the SpongeBob. I'm ready! Me! And, and Blue's like, raising, raise his hand. <laughs> I'm so sorry. Glitch is like, I'm ready! <laughs> I'm so excited, guys, I'm sorry. I don't mean to be nerding out, but I'm nerding out right now. <laughs> I'm sorry. Okay, okay, okay. Here we go. Oh. Wait, whoa, hold on. What's this narrative? Uh, this difficulty level is intended for players who are more interested in the story. Okay, that's exactly what they did with uh, Dragon Age. Or, not, excuse me. Not Dragon Age. Uh, Mass Effect 3. Okay, well, like I said, we're going to do normal. Um, if it gets... I don't know if I can it, during gameplay, but if I can change it, if it gets a little too difficult for me, because I'm, like I said, more interested in the story, I will do that. But for right now, 
I want to do it on normal because I do want a challenge. I do want a, some challenge in the game. So I don't know if I'll change it, if I can change it later, but if I can't, then that's cool. I'll just fight through it. But I didn't want to lie to you guys and saying, oh yeah, I'm still playing it on this difficulty when I'm not. So I'm not going to do that to you guys. If I'm going to change it, I'm going to let you know I'm changing it. But for right now, we're going to start on <laughs> on normal. I'm sorry, my dog just kicked me. Like She had just like a, a really big fit of a kick and she kicked my feet. <laughs> You poor baby, you dreamin', you dreamin' loon a bit. You're a good girl. Go back to sleep. I'm sorry, you go back to sleep. She's so cute, I wish I could take a picture of her right now, but I can't. <laughs> I don't have my phone. Alright, anyway. Let's start on normal, and let's do it. I'm so excited. Hurry up. Export faster. Come on! Yes! I am so excited! Herp a derp! <laughs> I've been waiting for this! Uh. Interesting loading screen, though. I will say that. Like, it's a loading um, thing. <gasps> shh! Shh! I'm gonna mute. Just shh. Every great moment in our history began with a dream. Each bold leap forward was achieved by those willing to do anything to attain it. We are, all of us, leaving behind families, homes, the very birthplace of our species. Some for discovery to see the unknown, others for a new start. But today, whatever our reasons, we take the first steps toward a new future for humanity. Today, we begin to make our dream reality. In the year 2185, humanity lives in a golden era of interstellar travel. A discovery of ancient alien ruins on Mars propelled our understanding of science and technology ahead by thousands of years. While many now enjoy the newfound freedom and challenges of exploration in the Milky Way, others look to even more distant stars. For the hundred thousand adventurers embarking on this one-way voyage, the future begins in... Mass Effect Andromeda. I'm sorry. Ooh. 634 years later. Date, zero hour, zero day. Wow, 634 years. Rhythmic's like, I'm ready, promotion! <laughs> and Glitchy says, war. War never changes. <laughs> okay, but this is really cool. Arc Hyperion, occupa uh, occupacity, 200,000 human colonists. Or 20,000, excuse me, 20,000 human colonists. I can't, I can't do numbers. I can't read. <laughs> At least I can't read correctly on the first try. <laughs> Andromeda Galaxy, destination, Habitat 7 in Helios Cluster. Nice. It's a beautiful game already. Like, it looks beautiful to me already. Are we waking up? Is that what this is? Are you waking us up right now? Ryder, Scott, Recon Specialist, Pathfinder Mission Team. 
Pathfinder team, eh? The ones finding us a home. Can you make it somewhere tropical? Nice, warm ocean, summer year-round? How about we get him a cup of coffee first? <laughs> Will's like sexy brighter, bro. He is. I love default rider. Scott Ryder, let's get you checked out. Look here. After discovering an unusually high ratio of potential candidates for Golden Worlds, the Helios Cluster was selected as our destination. Now you are a part of the first wave of Arcs arriving in Andromeda, our new home for humanity. Makes it sound so easy, doesn't it? Alright, uh, tone choices will help define writer's personality. Heart's emotional. Star, I guess, logical. Swirl's confusion. And square swirl is professional. Alright, let's see. Even if it isn't, we'll be ready. I hope so. You know something? Word came down. The Pathfinder wants you all mission ready within the hour. Look this way. Why the rush? He didn't say. But something's up. Okay, everything checks out. Just one more thing before I send you on your way. Let's test your SAM implant. Sam, are you monitoring? Sam, are you online? Yes, Dr. Tapero. Good morning, Ryder. Are you feeling well? <laughs> All right, I will say this. Uh, a lot of people said they had problems with animation, but you know what? Um, I had to actually install an update right before I actually um, installed the game, so I'm wondering if maybe something was fixed. Like, I don't know. But either way, um, looking at like some of the animations on Bro Rider's face, or yeah, on Scott's face, it doesn't look that bad. It actually doesn't look that bad. The only thing I was like, his eyes just seem a little bit too wide-ish, or a little bit too large, as it does like in the trailers. It doesn't look like that. But other than that, he's perfect. Like he looks good, and the way his face is being animated looks pretty good too. So I'm excited. Um, let's actually here we go. Uh, I just need a second to get my bearings. What's this about my implant? A routine check. After being in stasis, we want to make sure the connection is still live. As the team's mission computer, your well-being is my primary concern. Assuming the implants work as advertised, Sam sees what you see, in theory. We won't know for sure until we get you in the field. How are you feeling, otherwise? I feel like a 600-year-old popsicle. I hope we pack more coffee. Readings confirmed. Based on the levels of adenosine in your system, the neural implant is functioning properly. Wait, adeno what? <laughs> it just means you're still shaking off your nap. No reason why we can't get you on your way. Though you may want to hang around while we revive your sister, it always helps to see a familiar face. I don't like the sound of that. Okay, that cut it a little too soon, if you know what I mean. What in the hell is going on? What is this? Did they hit like a freaking space thorn bush? Oh god. Uh-oh. Uh-oh, anti-gravity's off. Just hang on. Engineering, report. Wait, am I able to <gasps> I'm able to play! What? I'm trying to move him and everything. Going on. Hi, Cora. This is Cora. I'm at the cryo bay. Brace for a reset. <clears throat> Everyone okay? I think so. What happened? We're not sure. Sensors are scrambled. But it's good to see you're up. Feels like centuries since we spoke. This is the Pathfinder. Mission teams continue preparations. Cora, riders. You heard him. Let's get. Uh, we have a problem over here. <gasps> it's Sarah Ryder. No! What happened? What? Confirming my mic is on. Sorry. <laughs> Just. Yes! Sarah! Ugh! I don't know. Sorry. Check it out. Whoa, Scott! Whoa, Scott! What are you doing? Quit! Quit! Sorry, I guess. 
Oh, sorry. Scott, I'm so sorry, guys. Is my sister okay? I thought I said inspect. Fine. No, talk. Her vitals are strong, but the revival procedure was interrupted. I don't like the sound of that. Don't worry. It just means the process could take a bit longer than usual. Sam? My connection to Sarah's implant was suspended. However, her pulse, respiration, and brain activity are all normal. Whew. Okay, to that's be on good. The safe side, we'll need to keep her in a low-level coma for a while, then let her body regain consciousness naturally. She'll be fine. Glad to hear it. Thanks, Lexi. You keep us updated. God, that's scary. Right. I'll wait for you at the door whenever you're ready to go. How do you want okay, I'm that like scared me, and also I didn't mean to. For now, round the clock monitoring. We don't know if they're in true stasis anymore. Right. But others aren't. We can't be sure just yet. Sorry, I don't know if your guys were able to hear that, but the like their voices because they were so far away. We can run an really? line into the pod. Standard All right. Well, anyway, guys, I hope. Oh my God! Like that was just that was just a lot going on. I actually didn't realize that. I thought it said inspect, not talk. Like I wasn't like I was paying attention, but I wasn't. This is this is like new to me. Oh, I have to hold it. Okay. Hi yeah, let's see. I'm Jean Garson, founder of the Andromeda Initiative. I'm here huh. to welcome you to a whole new galaxy. The good news is, the hard part's over. We're here. If you have any questions now, just ask. All right, hold on. Gluji's like, 600 years of bee sleeping, your hair is still looking great, <laughs> right? Like, like, damn, bruh. All right, so I'm definitely going to go through all this. I'm sorry, guys, but I am a very story-driven person, so I'm definitely going to go through all of these options as much as I can. Your current location is Ark Hyperion, housing the human population. Ark Parchero, the Solarian vessel, confirmed departure in 2185. The Asari ship, Ark Lucinia, confirmed departure that same year, as did the Turian Ark Natanis, embarking in 2185. Hmm. Huh. The selection process saw the Andromeda Initiative evaluate thousands of potential habitable planets within the galaxy. After discovering an unusually high ratio of potential candidates for Golden Worlds, the Helios Cluster was selected as our destination. Now you are a part of the first wave of ARCs arriving in Andromeda, our new home for humanity. Once the Pathfinder team's assessment is complete, Habitat 7 has been selected as the most likely candidate for colonization. Yeah, I certainly would like to know what the hell those little space thorns were. Like, Jesus, like, I ran into a thorn bush in space. What was that? Like, seriously. The Pathfinder is responsible for exploring and assessing new worlds for outpost placement and settlement. Each arc is led by a Pathfinder who represents their species. The active duty Pathfinder assigned to Arc Hyperion is Alec Ryder. Current duty roster shows you are assigned to the Pathfinder mission team, Specialist Ryder. At present, Ark Hyperion has arrived in the Helios Cluster. Further mission updates are offline due to technical difficulties. As Recon Specialist, you are tasked with supporting the authentication of Golden World sites through exploration, mapping, and scientific analysis. Currently, you are to report for duty on the Command Bridge. The Andromeda Initiative encompasses all colonization efforts, including Arcs, Pathfinders, Outposts, and the Central Support Hub, the Nexus. The current location of the Nexus is unknown. Status of outposts are unknown. I'm Jean Garson, founder okay, of Okay, we already did that. It's life in and drop me a note sometime. I'd love to hear how we're doing. Alright, so that's pretty much what she was pretty much telling me, wasn't it? The current Skip. location of the Nexus is and unknown. other topics. Status of outposts are Okay, now we're good. Alright. It sounds amazing, doesn't it? Right up until you lose gravity. All right, I'm just gonna see. Can I talk to you again? Like, don't worry, Ryder. We'll take care of her. She'll make it. Okay. All right. Well, as far as I know, like all the animations and everything look good. Liam. Am I still dreaming? It left a nasty bump on her. Let me take a look. First five minutes in Andromeda, and we're already crashing the car. You thought it'd be easy? No, but I figured any scars could wait till we land. Enjoy your nap, Ryder. Don't think I'll need sleep for the rest of my life. Maybe another day. Oh, hey whoops. There. Gosh. Hell of a wake up call, huh? Mm. Didn't expect that first thing out of stasis. Sorry, guys. I do Makes apologize. Two of us. 
Hang in there. Alright, well, I am apologizing. I, I keep thinking that like, after I talk to her, like, usually when you talk to NPCs, your character never, at, like, talks back to them. So this is, like, really new to me. So I'm sorry. I'm, I'm still trying to learn how to play, <laughs> even though I played Mass Effect earlier in the week. Alright, let's see. Willow, you said, Cat, my new cis rider looks hot. Oh, you're gonna have to send me a picture of her soon, because you know me, I love looking at I love looking at characters. I love seeing how pe people create their characters. And you know your other rider is so cute! Oh my gosh, she's so sweet and adorable. I can't wait to see your new cis rider. I want to actually see her. She's probably really cute. <laughs> uh, let's see. Attention Hyperion personnel. After a 600-year voyage, good news is... Oh, okay. Cool. Alright, I'm not gonna go... I'm, I'm gonna see if I can try to find all, like, any codex, because if I'm still, if I'm correct, uh... But yeah, like, um... I think, I don't know if it's still the same, but if you, like, get any codex, you get experience points for it. So I'm assuming it still works the same way, even in Andromeda. So let's see here. Uh, let's see. Message from Gene Garson. Hello, Traveler, and welcome to your first day in Andromeda. This is the dawn of a new era for all of us. If you recover from stasis, know that you are in good hands. In a few short hours, you'll be leaving the Hyperion, enjoying thousands of your fellow colonists as you chase your fortunes and build a new world, or a new life you've always dreamed about. It's been a long wait, but I promise you it will be worth it. All right. So, so many things happening right now. They tell you where we're going? No, just have the shuttles prepped to fly. Morning, Ryder. Or afternoon? Or I don't know. <laughs> I don't know either. <laughs> hey, Kirkland. Good to see you, Ryder. Hmm. <sighs> Uh, sorry, still waiting for some coffee. Okay, and you are. Wait, I had you. I'm on cleanup duty. Ha 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 ha. You have a name? No, you don't even. You can't. What? Okay. All I heard was the word girlfriend. I was like, what? Alright, and Car uh, Cora, I can't speak with Cora, so let's go. Yes, I'm ready. Let's go. What's wrong? What is going on? Ryder could find it. He has a scanner. Quick, Ryder, use it to locate the vault. On it. I'll try to get readings on the second conduit. Hey, I'll try to run get on it. I'll override the safeties. Got it. This equipment is operating normally. Hurry! It has to be here. Oh, stop, 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 stop sprinting. Okay, I here. think the whole uh, sprinting Ryder, toggle... Ryder, like... scanning the whole conduit. Look for the I vault. will! I will. Sorry. Just jeez. I'm like, I guess I will. You know what? Okay. Hold on. There's too much happening right now. Too fast. Let me just... <sighs> I cannot believe I gotta do this. Uh, where is it? Settings. And as much as... I I, I didn't believe this was gonna be doing its thing. Alright, we're gonna change the toggle. We're gonna press it to hold. That way when I let go of the, of the sprint button, he'll actually stop. <sighs> like, that was, that was intense. Yes. Stop. Yeah. There we go. Alright, we're good. Alright, where is the... Hurry, Ryder, find the vault. What do you think I'm doing? Just sheesh. Come on, come on. Oh, I it's in this one. Relay to C. Shows damage from a temperature spike. Found it. Bad relay. Ryder, can you go reset it? Okay, I guess it's functioning normally too. All right. Oh, here it is. Okay, come on, up, up, up. <laughs> I'm still new to this, guys. I'm sorry. There, it's reset. Thank God that wasn't on a timer. Job, Everybody Ryder. would be dead. Now we can get to the tram. All the bridges until the captain's done. This won't hold for long. We'll use these duct tape. Uh, but seriously though, like if I hadn't if I hadn't <laughs> if I was on a timer, everyone would be dead. <laughs> I got a game over. What Let's in the close. hell? Barely an Andromeda and we're already scrambling. The adventure begins. 
Okay. You. Oh my god, I didn't think it was gonna zoom. Oh. Just wait a minute, Cora. Where the hell you're at? Just, just, just wait a minute. Wait. You. Your animation with that running was just weird. Like, I saw that. Everyone else had seemed okay. Their animations with running and walking seemed okay so far. Hers? I don't know if you guys saw that, but that was weird. Like, that was really odd. That is actually that's the that was the that the this is a particular character I remember seeing and they showed that, um, uh, like when they were talking about the animations and stuff. Like I actually remembered seeing it was this particular NPC at this particular time in the game. Just, I'm done. Let's just let's go. Let's see what this is. Um. Oh. There we go. I don't know if any of these add to the codex, to be honest. I wish it would, or if it is, it's not telling me. I mean, I don't know. Alright, anyways. Alright, I think that's it. Let's go. Like, um, so far, all the animation seems okay. The eyes feel like they're a little too big and buggy. Like, bug-eyed look is what I mean by buggy. Um, but... And that one woman with oh my god her terrible running animation there. But other than that, everything looks everything looks solid. Control. Report. At least to We're me, drifting. it does. Flight controls aren't responding. First priority is stopping these outages. Mainline power's been knocked out. We're on reserves, Captain. They won't last. What's our position? Unknown. <gasps> we lost telemetry. Sam, we need eyes out there. Attempting to adjust sensor array. Alec, please. You may be Pathfinder, but this is my ship. Captain, the protocol's clear. In the absence of communication with the Nexus or the other arcs, we proceed to our appointed golden world. Solid ground. If it's even out there. Nobody said anything about running into an energy cloud. And that's just a wild guess what we hit. Papa Ryder. Quiet. Alec, Nobody say anything. Assess the damage. Stop the bleeding. We've got twenty thousand <laughs> people asleep on this ship. Let's give them a chance to wake up. Can you blame her? Oh God. And <laughs> Will's like, Daddy Ryder, right? Oh my God. We like. I'm not gonna lie. Like, yes, <laughs> yes. Papa Ryder. Who? Papa Ryder. <laughs> Willow, you did it! You did the pun! She did the writer pun, guys! Oh my god. <laughs> you are not a bad person, Willow. You said it before me, so you get like a cookie. You get a little internet cookie. Actually, I do have chocolate chip cookies. I would love to give you a physical chocolate chip cookie, even though I can't. I would love to, though. Glue just like anything. Because <laughs> I said don't say anything, and you're like anything. <laughs> Oh my god. <laughs> but okay, oh, by the way, guys, since you're all watching this stream, and, and this is going to be on YouTube uh, tomorrow, um, uh, I know that uh, there's a thing that me and, and uh, my friend Willow, Lady Willow had started about a few months ago when Andromeda was first announced, um, which is we, we wanted to do this thing where we actually make puns with, writers, with, the, with the writer's name. You know, with Ryder, and we kind of <laughs> went back and forth on this. So when you say ride, you would spell it R Y D E, you know, instead of R I D E. <laughs> or if you say anything that just has the word ride in it or Ryder, you spell it like their surname. <laughs> well, it's like L M A O. We're awesome. We are. We are totally awesome. So, um, we're going to be riding our way into the galaxy and riding all the aliens. <laughs> Fitch is probably going to give Scott Ryder a ride of his life, eh? I'm laughing way too hard at this. I'm sorry. 
I'm sorry. But we need more rider puns. We need more rider puns. <laughs> oh my god, Will is like, Fetcher's gonna get the best ride. <laughs> That's what I just said. Oh my god. Similar to what I just said, too. Oh my god, Will. Caitlin, <laughs> my god. <sighs> okay, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm so I'll stop, guys. I'm sorry if this is all weird. If this is getting weird for you guys, I'm sorry. I'll stop. I don't care. Okay. <laughs> um. Uh, uh, well, I guess we can keep it as prof <laughs> professional as possible. I'm assuming it's gonna be her call, cause I'm gonna try and keep it as professional. Although, uh, yeah, we'll just we'll just. Yeah. She is the captain. I think she gets the final word. Well, he might. This isn't about having the final word. Yes, sir. We're Whoops. coming through. Sorry, Papa Ryder. <laughs> My God. Is that our golden world? That's Habitat 7. New Earth, if we're lucky. <sighs> All of Bicycle. our long-range scans told us it was in the green zone. Perfect for human settlement. <laughs> it doesn't even look the same. <laughs> oh, I'm glad you like bicycle, bicycle, bicycle. I want to ride my bicycle. <laughs> oh, all right. Uh, let me read the tone things again. So heart's emotional. The cog is logical. The swirly cloud is casual, and the square swirl is professional. Okay, so I just need to remember that. Square swirl is what I'm going to mostly be looking for. I may do emotional every now and then, especially when it has something to do with family and things like that. But I'll try to keep it, like like, like I said, I'll try to keep my, ride, like my bro rider as professional and as logical as possible with a few emotional, you know, inputs, when it, basically when it comes to family. So most, most certainly when it comes to family. But as of right now, this seems more like a like a logical thing. So. She's right. It looks pretty dicey from here. Are we sure about those scans? It's a good question. Things can change. It's been six hundred years. Sam. The energy from the phenomenon is damping our senses. Planetary conditions are unknown. We're maroon. Twenty thousand souls adrift at sea. When the power runs out and stays out, we need to know if that's safe harbor. And if it's not? As Pathfinder, it'll be my job to find an alternative. It's what we train for. But if this goes well, we are already home. All right, just make it quick. Harper, the rest of the team should be awake by now. Have them spin up two shuttles. Planet Fallen 30. Yes, sir. A stubborn one, isn't he? Yeah. Your guess is as good as mine. We may be related, but I still haven't figured him out. Just as long as he knows what he's doing. It's not like the cavalry's coming to save the day. I need an ETA on our sensor repairs. We're blind out here. Yeah, I think the lo the logical uh, selection as well for that particular last the last conversation was perfect, especially because in my head, Canon, like that was my that idea. This. Are all the riders adrenaline junkies? I guess it's in her blood. She beat me into the world by one minute. Couldn't wait to get started. <gasps> oh my God, I well, was right. Don't worry. I'm sure Sarah will pull through. When she does, she's gonna want stories. So. Let's get out there and find her son. I was right. right. I'm sorry. Let me just let me just pause for a minute, guys. Did you just hear what he just said? My sister beat me into the world by one minute. Like it doesn't matter if it was one, two, five minutes. Like I didn't care like how many minutes they were apart. But the fact of the matter was that at least she was born first. That makes me happy right now because that was what I wanted in the beginning was to have her be the first one born out of the twins. 
I don't know if it's if he, if it if the if if um Sarah Ryder says anything different. I don't I don't know if she's if she says that he beat her into the world by one minute, but as far as I know, still right there was perfect. Head cannon right now. She was the first to make it into the world. <laughs> and Gluji's like first. <laughs> Will's like laughing. It's, it's, it's perfect though, because that's what I wanted. I wanted him to be second born. And see, she teases him with the term little brother or baby brother, and that really makes him up. You know, it just really ticks him off because he hates being called little or baby brother. You know, and she loves teasing him with those terms, which is why I love this. I'm so happy that he is technically second born. Uh. <gasps> Oh my god, Willow. Yes, she confirmed. She says, I was, uh, she says, this is what she's, she's saying that she, that, that Sarah Ryder says, I was born a minute before he was, and I never let him forget it. Yes. I'm sorry. I didn't mean to clap my hands. Everyone's trying to sleep in here. And I'm just like, yes, this is exactly what I wanted. And that, that last part right there, and I never let him forget it. That's exactly the what I want my Sarah Ryder to be. Like, right there. That's my Sarah. Right there. That's the particular Sarah Ryder that I wanted. Oh my god, Willow. Caitlin, you just made my night even more perfect. I'm so excited. I can't wait to play as my my Fem Ryder off screen now. Like, oh my god. <sighs> okay, I'm calming down. Let's hear the conversation that Cora's trying to say. So, I'll be quiet. <laughs> And try to get through it without skipping it by accident. <laughs> so here we go. And maybe stop at the good luck rock before we go. The what? It's an old superstition of your dad's. All right. So basically, she said, "Get your helmet, and then stop at the thing." Oh, by the way, um, I also I also um, installed all of the. Um, I have the deluxe edition of the game, so I got. Uh, the pet pie jack, the casual outfit, um, um, I also got the Andromeda Initiative helmet that I got from the website, as far as I know, I, st I have that. Um, I also got, um, a couple other rewards, uh, four new weaponry, uh, weapons, and I think something else. I don't know what, but I got something else as well, along with the deluxe pack, so I didn't get super deluxe, I just got deluxe. Alright, uh, let's see, it was like, all the excitement, yes, <laughs> all of the excitement. <laughs> I'm, just, I'm just so happy right now. Oh my god. Okay. Um, reconnaissance. Da, 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 da. Okay. I'll read that on my off screen times, I promise, guys. Like, okay, so there's my helmet. Dude. Nice kit. Uh, Glee's like, wow, you need D&D &D back in your life. You have way too much fun making characters. I do! I do! I do have too much fun making characters. <laughs> hey, Ryan. It's Kirkland, right? Yeah. I think we met just before the Hyperion left Earth. Not sure if you know Greer. Hi there. Your dad say anything about what's going on? Uh... It was all business. Told us to prep and be ready to go. Short and sweet, huh? Will do. See you guys in the ride down. Yeah, I'm gonna, like I said, I'm gonna try and keep this as professional as possible with, Actually, like I said, a few logical things. Sorry. What? Oh. Oh, that's the that's the music. That's the radio that they're playing from right now. Whoops. Uh, let's see. Rhythmic says character building is my favorite thing ever. I agree. I love it. <laughs> Willow's like, I miss D and D. Cat, we need to make. Yes, we do. We do, Willow. We need to make a D and D campaign Ryder? someday. Hey, Fisher, how's it going? I heard a rumor from the bridge that your dad and the captain aren't seeing eye to eye on this. Uh, oh god. Um, well, let's, I think Don't Believe Rumors is as professional as he can get. I'm gonna really try hard to try to make him as professional as possible. And the term Don't Believe Rumors sounds like something that a professional person would say. So, I'll, I'll try to keep this as professional as possible. I'm sure that this is, like I said, the most professional thing he could say right now. I don't know what that's about. <laughs> okay, then. I'll just pretend I didn't hear that you took Dunn's side. More rumors. Maybe, but I figure at the end of the day, the Pathfinder team answers to the Pathfinder. Besides, your dad's the N7 here. He's got the best aim. 
I go wherever he goes. Okay, sure. Well, anyway. There's my helmet. I'll pick it up in a minute. I want to see if there's anything else. Yep. What? Ooh. Good luck, Rock, huh? Your dad was mountain climbing back on Earth. It caught him from falling. The way things are going today, we'll need any luck we can get. Yeah. Okay, that's cool. Analysis indicates alkali feldspar and quartz, commonly known as granite. Okay. Okay. Water. Human male, uh huh. Human male. Human male. Yeah, let's just go scan some stuff real quick. <laughs> real quick before I do anything else. Is that it? Anything else I can scan? Yay? Nay? Huh? Eh? What? Alright, Glidgy said, You know, Cat, when I start streaming Dungeons and Dragons, you can. And maybe you can tag along sometime, too. Okay, that's cool. That would be really cool, because I love Dungeons and Dragons. I remember back in high school, I did start a campaign with a friend of mine. Uh, unfortunately, we were, I, it was really hard to go over her to her house all the time to uh, to play. So unfortunately, I didn't get the chance to actually. We didn't get the chance to really finish. Uh, when I when we did the campaign though, uh, my character that we created together was, I think they were called a Tibbet, which is like a cat shape uh, shapeshifter. So that was the character I had created, and she was an assassin, like she was a thief slash assassin kind of character. So. And she was like her like her backstory was that she was looking for a werewolf who had saved her life. So that was like that was the backstory I had created back that was, of course that's back in high school, which was a good seven seven, eight years ago. So <laughs> uh let's see, first contact protocol. Okay. Alright. I don't know if there's anything else. Ah, it's a meta pack. Alright, let's go ahead and grab the helmet. I don't think there's anything else, so let's pick up the helmet. Got it. The Pathfinder is now requiring sidearms. I've opened the armaments locker. We expecting trouble, Sam? A precaution. Please arm yourself, Ryder. Okay. Wait, what? Better not. No bathroom breaks in this trip. <laughs> That's so cool. Alright, I think I read this data pad, right? Uh, yeah, I did. I've seen my share of the Milky Way, and I've never come across anything like it. All right, Sarah's locker. Let's actually inspect it. Hang in there, Sarah. Aww. Alec. Looks like Dad's already suited up. And then I guess that one next to his is mine. So wait, what? 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 What's whose locker? What? Oh no, it's the data pad. Okay. Uh, this. Hope I won't need this. All right. I think that's everything. Sorry, did I collect everything? We all good, huh? Yay, nay? I think so. Uh, Tabaxi? I don't know. Like, my friend said it was a Tibbit. T-I-B-B-I-T or something like that. Like, that's how she spelled it. I'm not sure if that's really how it, like, what it is, though. I, I don't honestly remember. It was, like I said, like, good seven, eight years ago when we did this campaign. Uh, which, unfortunately, like I said, we never got to finish it either. So just another boring day at the office, huh? Alright. Can't wait to get out there. No, no plan is perfect. The nap won't be, no, we can handle it. I figure it's a chance to show everyone what we can do. Go out there and earn our stripes. You're Alex Sen, all right. I always wondered what it was like when explorers crossed the ocean. Nothing but stars and dead reckoning to guide them. And a map that said, here be dragons. <laughs> well, if they made it, we can too. And maybe see a dragon along the way. Let's hope. Never know. Let's keep an eye out. And our distance. <laughs> On that note, time to get to the shuttle. I'm sorry, when it comes to dragons, I hope to see them. Don't matter what character I'm playing. <laughs> Alright, let's go. Let's go! I'm so excited. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm probably gonna have to make a manual save here soon, just in case. Um, Blue, you said this is still straight from the Xbox. It looks great. Yes, it does. It's at the highest quality that I that I. Everything going on, I think the Ark needs you more than we do. 
Pathfinder wants a medic on hand. And if that is home down there, I'm happy to knock on the door. Wow, I, I had like a mil, like a millisecond glitch there. It's finally telling me it's lagging. Uh, Glitchy says my character is a rogue too. Oh yeah. Mm. All right, if this is home down there, I'd I'd be happy to knock on the door. Uh, this could get rough. Yeah, we're just not sure what's on the other side of the door. No problem. If it has teeth, I brought the pliers. Yank them out myself. All right, team, button it up. We leave in five. Sir, we broke out the weapons as requested. Anything we should know about? Seem prudent given the situation. We'll be short-handed with Sarah out. I heard what happened. Your sister's strong. She'll make it. Okay, this is hard. I wish there was like an emotional one. Why isn't there an emotional one? I could pick an emotional one right now. Will's like rogue for the win. I agree. Rogues are like the like for me they're the best class. Just for me. Besides, rogues do it from behind. <laughs> All right, but now I really wish there was like a, like an emotional option here, but unfortunately there is not. So, so strong she'll make it. Uh. You know, even though it might get my head cannon as well, even though Scott is like is very serious and professional and you know, he does like and he's he he doesn't like how his sister picks on him and how carefree and laid back she is, he does care about her. So I think this might be my first casual option. Maybe. We bet on whose boots would hit the ground first. This isn't how I wanted to win. Well, knowing Sarah, she'll want to go double or nothing on who climbs the tallest mountain. But don't let it get you down. I need you sharp. I understand. Your mom would have been proud. Of both of you. God, Papa Ryder. Okay, team, listen up. I chose each of you for the Pathfinder team, not just because you're talented and passionate. But because you're dreamers, like me. We dream of exploring the unknown, of finding the edge of the map, and then discovering what lies beyond. When people look back on this, and they will, they'll remember we didn't give up, that we kept dreaming that our first few faltering steps in Andromeda were the beginning of everything they know. We only get one chance to be first. So, let's go make history. Been waiting 600 years for this. So excited now we can really actually play for reals. Sort of. I don't know. I'm not sure what we're doing yet. Copy that. We're on point. Wow, we look at that. Whatever it is, it stopped the Hyperion in its tracks. It appears to be an unstable mass of dark energy. If you say so, steer clear of it. Yeah, it's like a freaking thorn bush. Gravity anomalies detected. See if I can even it out. My stomach would appreciate that. Okay. We're clear. Accelerating to cruising speed. Okay, this is Fire. really cool. We didn't have a chance to meet back in the Milky Way. Name's Liam Costa, security and response specialist. Good to meet you, Liam. Hard to believe we're finally doing this. Sure beats reading the brochures. Beginning our deceleration. Planet's dead ahead. Oh, okay. Oh, 
no, I see Robert's comment. Shuttle two, are you seeing it? Copy that. Doesn't look like a golden world from here. Hold on real quick, because I, I will read Robert's comment. I know he's he probably actually I think sure he left here. I just wanna make sure I get through this cutscene. Technically that's what it is, isn't it? What's going on? That has to be advanced engineering. Hyperion, this is the Pathfinder. We've got evidence of an alien civilization. Has anyone seen us? What if they're not friendly? We stick to contact protocol. No use of deadly force unless hostile intent is clear. What the fuck? The hell? Oh god. Oh, <gasps> Liam! Oh god! Oh my god! Increasing. Am I am Don't I controlling him? Your jump jet is malfunctioning. Get it working! Approaching terminal velocity. Ah! Wait! Oh no! Robert's like, hello, kitty cat. Oh wait! Hold on! Hold on! Wait before anyone new does new comments. Oh god! Oh Ryder! Oh! Oh god, no, his helmet's cracked! No! No! Oh, thank god. Whew. It scared me. It actually scared me, like, oh god, no. Sweet mother of mercy. This is Ryder. Come in. Hyperion. No. Sam. Anyone there? Save your breath, Ryder. Sam's offline. Comlink's trashed. I'm surprised we aren't too. Did the others make it? I don't know. It was all a blur. Shuttle split in two. This is like some nightmare. Yeah. No way this is home. Okay, the next time it gives me a pause, like in a dialogue, with a, a dialogue wheel, I'll read the comments. See if anyone else is alive. Come on. Or better yet, when it gets me to playing. Okay, pause. Okay, we read what the comment said. Uh, Robert, seven of nine. I, I know he what he was here. And oh, I just got an achievement for his contact. Achievement unlocked. <laughs> Landing on an alien planet. All right, Robert, seven of nine. He was here. Uh, I think he he's actually gone now because he said he had to, he couldn't only stay for a few minutes. He says, "Hello, kitty cat. Have a great night." Um, I hope you're having a great night. It's pretty much like the equivalent of what he means by that. Uh, you just reached the the eightieth. View or like oh wow eighty followers like I didn't even notice like, I haven't even checked it today <laughs> oh my god uh, congratulations I hope you won't stop before a one hundred just come to say hi and now say bye take care girl peace ah and Gluji says my friend thinks that my character is useless just because I'm a lawfully good rogue with a strength based weapon I have plus three strength and plus three dexterity so I don't see what's wrong <laughs> that's actually pretty good and Willow says you're gonna cry when you get to Habitat Seven dude wraiths. Oh my god, wraiths. Oh, Caitlin, why are you telling me about wraiths? Why'd Ryder, you do this? how's your survival training? I've seen my share of troubles. Nothing crazy, but. Well, crazy just found us. Those rocks out there are floating. Terra incognita. Scan oh, complete. Sam, it's hard to say exactly what this is. It's sort of a plant, and maybe dead, but maybe not. Anything else? Damaged in the crash. No good to us now. More plants. Anything else? I really like this whole idea with the scanner. Like, this is nice. 
I'm gonna actually keep it open. Look, look, here's another thing of debris. There's a comm device. Okay, I'm glad I got this thing open, because we're gonna definitely need it. Oh. Ooh. Anything up here? More plants. Oh, and safety right. tip. Don't breathe the air. Found that out the hard way. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, don't want to breathe the air. God, this is so cool. Okay, just I want to make sure. Oh. Okay, now we can't scan that. This? Sam said it's dark energy, but that's in space. Yeah. Hell of a cloud. The cloud that makes boulders float. All right, let's see. Glitchy says, not the ring wraiths, the most iconic part of the Star Trek <laughs> the game. <laughs> oh, God, yeah. That was the plant thing still. And... Okay. All right, well, anyway. Um, let me actually get that back out. Because I actually, I actually really like this. Like I said, I like this, this whole thing with this... What was that? Okay, no, I thought there was something there. And those are those uh, un unknown plant lives. Something up ahead. What in uh, the, what hell? the hell? Is this? Yeah. On, get it. I just hold on a minute. Can I scan it? This is crazy. Welcome to Habitat Seven. All right. Well, no, I can't. You know what? Fine. Let's just Keep go. Going. Run! Ah. Run! Damn oh it. my god! No! I can make it. No. No, don't Watch stop. It. Don't stop. Look safer under there. <gasps> is this for real? What the hell is going on with this place? Planet's trying to murder us? It can try. I'm sorry. <laughs> you just No double jumps though. Not yet. I bet I bet double jumps come later. Okay, this this might mean. What? I'm sorry. I'm trying to learn the the controls now. Like, oh my god, this is so cool. Mm. All right, let's get these back out. Is there anything here to scan? Nope, I can't even scan these mushrooms. How's it going? Jesus. Might want to see if it's working. Take a shot at that fuel cell. It's busted anyway. Hold on, what fuel Look, cell? Something flying around in the sky. Oh, wow. Here be Beautiful. Dragons. Cora will love it. Okay, I ain't gonna lie. Those things are so sick. That is so cool. I want a closer look at them. Alright, now where is this, this fuel cell? Is it right over here? I know my gun's working, I just don't know where the fuel- I bet it's in front of me and I'm just being dumb. Yeah, there it is. Can I scan you? Scan complete. Wait, what did it say? Um, fuel cell data, blah, 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 blah. Scan's currently offline. Alright, then. I'd say it's working. Oh. What? There. We get up that cliff, we find high ground. Come on. That's Hold on a minute. Be the tallest thing around here. <gasps> oh, okay. God, they, felt, they felt closer than they were. <clears throat> Hold on now. Oh, okay. So it's not the B button anymore. Definitely not the B button. So that's how. I, okay, that's how I get my weapons out. Cool. And I like that it pauses, which is definitely one thing I like when the game like kind of stops for a minute and gives me a breather, because I don't. I don't want to be. Playing like be in the middle of combat and have to choose something in the middle of combat. Let me see. Um, okay. Okay, that's my tactical cloak. Uh, I could turn it on and off, of course. 
And I don't seem to have any more abilities, so that's the reason why that's that's the way it is. I have to hold it, right? Hold it, hold it, hold it. Hold it. There we go. Alright, I'm still learning, guys. I'm still learning. Did I get everything? I guess I did. Did I? I don't know. Still learning. What? No, don't go over there. Alright, um... Sorry, like I said, I'm still learning the controls. Because it's a different mass effect. It's I new. I see a path up. We use the jump jets if we have to. Into the breach. I think I'd rather fall than get hit by lightning. Give it a minute. We can probably do both. Can I crouch? Oh no, I don't have to crouch. More glowing mushrooms. Are they making that noise? No. No. Coming from inside the mountain. Detecting a lot of energy. Can't make heads or tails of it, but it's powerful. Ooh. Ooh, what is that? I want to know what is it? What is it? How'd my dad find you? I was a cop. Then crisis response. Ooh. Yeah? Tell you over a beer sometime. Okay. Wait. Making sure that I don't want to miss nothing. Like, it's I'm really close. picky. Ooh. Okay, this is just so cool. We're getting there. Can I scan this? Apparently not. Ow, what the hell? All right, hold on, I gotta, I gotta do a dash, okay. Well, that didn't work out the way I wanted it to. I almost made it. I think I see the top. Mind making some room? Thanks. What the hell is that? Not a hotel, that's for sure. Nothing around here makes any sense. New galaxy, new ways to die. Just not today. I would have picked logical there, but it's fishy. Wait. Look. <gasps> the cat. By the book. By the book. Take it easy. We only get one shot at hello with these guys. Yeah. And Fisher gets shot in the head if we're wrong. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, Liam. Nice and easy. We only go hard if we have to. Don't think they've spotted us yet. Wrong. Shit. Not yet. Shoot it. He sees us. We can't understand you. We're not here to fight. That man's with us. Light up sewage! Doesn't sound friendly. What's the other guy doing? Light up sewage! Ah! Weapons up! Sorry! Just give the word. Help! Why did they kill him? Uh. Screw it, I'm going off! Okay! Will he automatically go into cover? I mean, I don't know. I'm sorry, guys. Please tell me you're okay, okay Fisher. It's over. Fisher, you okay? Those bastards wanted to kill me. 
I had to wait in, Ryder. They didn't give us a choice. I'm sorry, Fisher. I shouldn't have hesitated. I just... I wasn't sure. None of it made any sense. Yeah, at least we know it's what. The brochures were light on aliens who want to shoot your head off. <sighs> we still don't even know what they wanted. The way they treated you? Blood samples, I'd say. Lots of them. Who says we'd even understand? Or they'd understand us? It's a new galaxy. I guess it's too much to expect they'll play by Milky Way rules. They broke the rules in any galaxy. But why go after us like that? Only thing I know for sure, their guns hit just as hard as ours. Where are the others? Gone. Kirkland and Greer went looking for help. Come on. Ah, my leg! Can you move? I think it's broken. You guys push ahead and look for the others. You sure? Yeah. Just find us a ride out of here. And take a few more of them out while you're at it. Okay. So, seeing that icon with additional Whoa. information or Take a look at these bodies. What are these things? What bodies? Oh, you okay, you're trying to look at it. Well, it's definitely the kit. I hope the other team's okay. We'll find them. But we might want to scout around first. You're the recon specialist. Point in the way. <laughs> right. Well, I don't have Sam here, but I can try to make sense of it. They're DNA based, and their armor reads as some kind of bone. But the genetics are all over the map. Ah, I guess life took a different turn here, huh? Mm hmm. <laughs> Samurai, uh, Sonosuski, uh, Sonosuski? Samurai Sanosuke, welcome to the stream! He said, damn, I hate ads on Twitch. <laughs> no, I agree. I agree. There's just not enough time watching. More like more time watching. Wait, what? Liam, what are you doing? Alright, well, anyways. Um, this is my first time running through, so I'm just, you know, I'm trying to make sure I collect everything as much as possible. What is that noise? Ooh, what's this? Oh, whoops. I keep freaking pressing A. Ooh. Take everything. <laughs> Alright, let me take a moment here to kind of just look. Uh, what is it? Inventory? Oh, I can't look at inventory. Is it skills then? Alright. Uh, let's do tech. And can I, I don't I don't think I have any points. As far as I know, I don't have any points to level up. Let me see here real quick, though. Um, Uh, incinerate seems like a good cryo beam is definitely probably what we're gonna be working for uh, working towards. Um let's see Or cryo beam, I should say. Yeah, I don't have any points, so I can't do anything. Uh Glitchy says if you're on mobile you can skip the ad by exiting the app and getting back on. Yeah, that is true. That is true. When you're watching a uh, a stream, yeah, that's what you can do to, to skip it and things. No points. Okay. Uh, see, I'm like I'm still learning the, the stuff here. I'm trying to figure it out. So not available skills, not available. Uh, codex and journal, the map, nice, and of course the the help menu. All right. So the inventory and profiles are are locked. Uh, the game cannot be saved manually. Uh, cannot be manually saved during a priority mission. Auto saving occurs automatically at checkpoint. Wait, so I can't save right now? Like, really? Because it's a priority mission? Okay. Okay. Alright, well, let's see what else is here. There's this, whatever this is. Okay, we just picked it up. Let's see. Can't, can't tell. Um. Let me see. You can't save until Nexus. Okay, that stinks, but I understand. At least there's an autosave option, so I will be happy that there is at least that. Uh, let's see. Uh, what game are you playing, you legend? Mass Effect Andromeda? Yes, I am. Yes, I am, Samurai. Yeah, um, let's see. And you're hosting me. Thank you. My God, everyone's hosting. All of you guys are hosting me tonight. You're just amazing. I don't deserve it. I don't deserve your loves. All right. Let me just make sure this way. This way. Okay. So that's where we came from, I would assume. Or that way? I'm not sure. Alright. 
Uh, Gluji says, if you subscribe, uh, or if you subscribe to Twitch Prime. Cool. Uh, and then, uh, Samurai's like, oh, yes. Alright. That way, still. I just wanna, I just wanna go over there, but no. Only legend pe people like you get love. Hosts. <laughs> Aw, I appreciate it. Wait, what was that? Oh, no, it's just those plants. Please don't hit me, lightning. Please, this is not Final Fantasy X. Please it's don't hit me with the... Shuttles. It is. Good. The atmospheric sensor is still working. Let me guess. It says don't breathe the air? Yeah, but no sign of industrial pollutants. That's not what killed this place. And no radioactive isotopes either. So nobody nukes the place. Hmm, very curious. I bet it has something to do with that huge tower that's like got yeah, like that's letting off all that gas or whatever. That storm up there. I bet that's what's causing the air to be so unbreathable. Let's see. Uh that way. Okay. Uh well hold on before I go that way. Uh let's see. Uh I read okay, I read what Gluji said and Sound like gunfire. Stop cooking. Please, I surrender. They saw him. Take them out. Right behind you. Yeah! I was so They're fucking badass! We'll give it to them. Sorry, I'm trying to aim! I suck! I count one left to go! Where is he? Yeah! That's the last of them. Uh, I can't believe we're doing this. Did Kirkland make it? Alright, hold on real quickly. Uh, Samar, you said, I'm just a legend in the making. Just kidding, just kidding. And yes, agreed, Gluji. I've only been here... Uh, I've been here less than five minutes. <laughs> oh, did, were we too late? I don't know if we were able to save them or not. But God. No vital signs. Just shot him in cold blood. He was trying to surrender. Why kill him? Would we treat them any different if they showed up on Earth, armed to the teeth? Uh, maybe not. Peace isn't going to be an option here. God. We'll come back for his body once we find the others. Hope Greer's still alive somewhere. Still, take a look at this architecture. This is really something. Mm-hmm. It is certainly something, but first... Yep, there's that. And I can scan this thing even, Bob. Okay, now this is weird. Even with these readings, I have no idea what it does. <laughs> Just imagine the mind that invented it. If that's even possible. Evolution separated from ours by two million light years? Spooky when you put it that way. Very spooky. Can I scan anything else besides the thing it wants me to scan, apparently? Wait. Yeah. And can I scan any of those? Actually, let me... Oh! Alright, let's see. Can I scan anything up here? I don't think I can, but let me just... Let me just make sure, because I'm like... I'm, I'm wanting to try and be as thorough as I can. Because this is a brand new game, and, and knowing, knowing the developers, they're going to put something really... Keep, you know, I can't explain it while I'm playing. Like, this is sad. Okay. Alright, I think we're good. I don't think there's really anything else. I know that there's something down here they want me to scan, so let's just see. Yes. Never seen anything like it. Looks to be at least three or four centuries oh, whoops. old. The Ox left 600 years ago, right? Yeah. Our long-range scans wouldn't have shown this. These structures, that tower, maybe none of it was here when we left the Milky Way. 
But over the 600 year sleep, it was erected. <laughs> I'm sorry. That was a really bad joke. I, I'm so sorry. I apologize. <laughs> it had to be done. Ooh, what's this? Huh. Okay. All the technology is new. New and unknown. Hey, look, flares going up over there. Could be our people. I'll mark the nav point. Oh yeah. Okay, we're gonna do the the optional right now. Wait. The hell's that? Oh God! Hey, no! What is this thing? I, think it wants I swear, I'm gonna get us. I'm gonna get us killed because of this. Ooh. Okay, it's dead. Whatever it was, how did it cloak like that? I already scanned it, so that's definitely not a thing. Right, now hold on. Uh that was the Wraith? That was the Wraith? Mm. Alright, so there's a there's a waypoint over there. Wreckage ahead. I would scan it. Hold on a minute. Okay, so then my op optional objective is over here. Let's see if there's anything. Let me actually go check the wreckage and then we'll go turn around and we'll, we'll look at the show. other thing. What a mess. I can't believe we survived this. We're not off planet yet. Shit! We're holding our perimeter. It's an ambush! Oh, hell, we got the jump on us! Careful they got one of those animals! Watch for cloaking! Hold on, if I... Oh, sweet mother of Christ! Ow! I probably shouldn't have never checked that damn shuttle. Yeah! Hold on. Hold on. No. No, wait. Where's the- Oh, my- No. Oh, my crap. I'm trying! I'm trying to learn how to play. I suck already. Oh, he's dead. Okay, never mind. I'm not gonna waste. Surprise, motherfucker! I'm sorry. I had to. <laughs> we got them all. <laughs> oh, you're pretty good at this, right, huh? No, I'm not. I fought off the occasional raider or two in my day. I used to guard a Mass Effect relay. <sighs> Wish we'd had one for the Ox. Maybe we should see if there's anything else useful here. All right, well, quickly, uh, let's see, uh, glue G Really? A what recorder? Hold on. I'm still trying to figure out what the heck's going on here. All right, hold on. Before I do anything else, uh, let's see, Gluji said, and all of this could have been avoided if you just listened to Pepe and did a barrel roll. <laughs> oh barrel roll. Do a barrel roll. Dun, 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 dun. All right, apparently he said something was here. Well, oh, here it is. We've experienced a catastrophic lightning hit. Liam and Ryder are gone. What's your location? Damn. Hyperion, this is the Pathfinder. Mayday, Mayday, ship in distress. Sir, our engines down. Prepare for an emergency landing. Hey, maybe they All right, so we definitely got... Hope. I hope that I did not just lose a conversation there. Alright. Well, anyway, yes, there is hope. Now, over here... Oh, what's this? <gasps> yeah. Ooh, I take that, danke. Any other remains that I don't know about? This is really, like, uh... Hello, Shadow Dragon Jamie! 34, welcome to the stream. How's it going? It's doing great. 
This is my first time playing, and I'm just... Oh, I'm so excited. All right, hold on. I'm afraid... Uh, will I actually reach that? Will I be able to? Or can I climb over this? I don't think I can. It looks way too high, even with my jetpack. I don't think I'll be able to climb this. I think I have to go around. So, let's go ahead and go on around. I love the jetpack! Although, I kind of wish I had a double jump ability. Oh, no, don't fall! Plus, I'm scanning everything, because I'm, I'm despicable. Anything here? No? Good. Okay, we're good. Oh, oh, lightning over there. Sort of structure up that hill. Where? This place is taking a beating from the storms. Along with everything else on this planet. Alright, I'm sure it wants me to go over there. Is that where it wants me to go? Yeah. Uh you've been playing since last night? No. Uh unfortunately when I try to go pick up the game. Uh, yesterday, I was not able to pick it up at midnight. I, I actually had to be there earlier, and uh, I got there an hour late, thinking, Oh, they're still open. I'll get it before midnight's over. Nope. They, they let it out at 9 o'clock. I was like, damn. Just wonderful. But it's okay. I picked it up today, and I actually went and seen Beauty and the Beast uh, after I picked it up. So I, did, I, I basically went, uh, got the game as soon as they opened at 10 o'clock in the morning, came home, slapped the disc in, let it install and download, and then I turned around left oh, as it was right. still downloading. Yeah, I turned around left as it was still d installing, and I went to go see Beauty and the Beast. It was an awesome, fantastic movie. Like, oh my god, I'm not gonna lie, I cried twice. <laughs> it was good, okay. That's optional, and that's optional. Like, oh my gosh, which one should I do? Oh, unknown. No idea how to get it working though. Ow! What the fuck, bruh? Ow! Is the lightning... Is, okay, I know the lightning strikes are actually hurting me. I know this is a... This is definitely... Oh my god. But yeah, uh, Shadow, this is actually my first time playing Andromeda. I'm still... Oh my god, what is still... It's still hitting me? But yeah, this is my first time playing Andromeda. This is like my first run. I just finished creating the most sweetest, cutest, adorable fem writer ever. And to be honest, I really am happy with this. With the characters and stuff. I'm actually looking at my journal here. Let me see. Um, protect Fisher, yeah. Optional. Test your weapon on the damage field. Yep, yep, yep. Okay, optional. Investigate the players and optional. Investigate the alien ruins. Optional. Locate Greer. Yes, we're going to do all the optional stuff. Uh, Gluji said, I'm sure everyone who saw a video game character jump as a young child thought it was possible to double jump in real life. <laughs> yes, most certainly. Uh, okay, so there's at least three optionals. I'm gonna try and do every single one of them because that's me. That's just me. So I'm going to go to this one. This is the first optional area. Well, let's hope no one's home. Yes, yeah, so I. Like a home at all. Making sure. And this is another thing too. I'm trying to scan everything as much as possible because I think that adds. Based on what it says, it says 30 research points, and I don't know what the other two symbols mean. But it looks like one of the, like the very first one is the Andromeda Initiative uh, insignia. So I'm most certainly trying to get as much research and points of something of some kind, as much as I can, because I know that that's going to help the uh, the Nexus. As far as I know, as far as I understand, it's going to help the Nexus. I'm trying to make sure I scan everything as much as possible. So, uh, yeah, no one's living here. So what's it for? Doesn't look like the other structures we've seen. Different design. Alright, well, quickly, you Shadow, you said, dang, that sucks. Really, Liam? I love you, bro. Stop it. Oh, you ducked. It's touche. Alright, well, Shadow, you said, dang, that sucks, but at least you're playing now. And, uh, I love playing this. I don't play as a girl writer. Yeah, I'm playing as bro writer. I'm playing as default bro writer. Because that's just That's me. not working. Mm. Wonder what's mm. I do too. I can't even scan it. Anyway. But yeah, I'm playing as default bro rider because default bro rider to me is hot. Who knows? Let's call it a weird alien machine. We <laughs> should use Sam right about now. I know. I miss Sam already. Alright, what's this? Uh container? Uh ooh, an overdrive pack, or yes, I think that's what it said. Yeah. Yeah, overdrive pack. I'll take it. Anything else? Oh, there's something else here. Another container. 
Let's actually open this. Um, I did, like, that's the thing. When I, when I created the, the characters, I went on ahead and decided to keep default Bro Rider and kept his name as Scott. Um, but Sarah Rider is actually customized. I actually customized Sarah. I wanted to, uh, to make her look a little different. Um, and we were actually just talking about this. Uh, me and everyone else in the chat here, we were talking about the character customizations. Um, I'm actually, I'm not gonna lie, I'm a little disappointed. So basically what I'm doing is I'm choosing a, like, I'm choosing a preset and then choosing my character via sli- designing them via sliders. Like, what happened to the technology that came from Dragon Age Inquisition? Like, what happened? That could have been implemented and could have been a thing, but no. So that is really the one thing that is very disappointing right now. Oh. Oh. I have another weapon. I didn't even notice. And that's what I have. Okay, that's what I'm probably using right now. Nice. Nice. Alright, let's get this back open. Can I scan these? Nope. I'm sorry that I'm taking so long, guys. I don't- I'm hoping to get to a point that I actually, like, makes me manually save. But, um... So many weird alien machines. <laughs> but I'm trying to find, you know, I'm trying to make it as far as I can. You guessed it. Another weird alien machine. Huh. Figures. Only one way to find out. You mean turn it on? I'm afraid to touch anything. I don't want to break nothing. Alright, I cannot believe I'm doing this. Please don't break anything. What are you doing, Ryder? Oh, shit. I don't know. That can't be good. Oh. Ah. So the weird alien machine is a generator. Yeah, sure. Why wouldn't it be? Maybe it did something. Whoa. Guess a circuit overloaded. Even the equipment's out to get us. Ooh. Same language as those aliens. Wonder what he's saying. Kill old humans, probably? <laughs> that would be interesting. What's this? Crap. Oh, shh. Why did I do that? Can I turn it off? Turn it off. Turn it off. Oh, son of a... I'm pretty sure I'm gonna be fighting. Oh, man. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Where are the, where are the baddies? I know they're coming. Where are you? Oh, baddies. I know I let off the alarm by accident. Yeah. I'm gonna die. Which door? Oh, the door that was locked earlier. Okay. Well, hold on, hold on, hold on. Let me just see something here. Does this take me to my optional? I can't tell what's what on this damn map. No! Don't go! Just hold on a minute. Hold on a minute. Everybody stop. Hold on. Hammer time. That's not really what I wanted. Alright, is this my optional? Yes! Optional. Okay, thank god. I was actually kind of getting a little worried there. Uh, okay, there's something there. Uh, let's see, hold on. Uh, Shadow, you said, yeah, I agree, the character creation is a big letdown. Mass Effect 3 had more to make your character look the way you want. Yeah, I agree. And then then, then, then they Im improved that with Dragon Age Inquisition. And I was like, oh my god, please, let Mass Effect and Drama have something like that. And I see that we have got sliders. Again. Now, the whole tattoo and, um, scar idea, like bringing the scars back from the first Mass Effect, is awesome. Although I was very questionable on some of those scars. And one of the beard options for the male rider was just really weird. I don't know. Like it like it was like a sideburn, you know, and then there was like a clean shaven line just straight across and then more beard. And I was just like and it it looked like he like he had a full beard and he just took a shingle razor and went straight across on one side and finish the like doing it the rest of the way it's like this that's not like no you don't no why would anyone shave their face like that just no but as you can tell that's just yeah yeah all right so i am going this is this is still part of uh, part of the optional which is good i'm just i hope i didn't 
Oh, sorry, Liam. Research lab? Maybe. Or no, that was. Oops, that was actually. That was actually Scott. All right. Not exactly poetry, is it? God, I would like to know what they're saying. I cannot wait to finally figure out the language to these these aliens. Like, I would love to learn the Ket's language. Like, that's awesome. Cause and this this is actually what I was hoping for because Looks what? Like they were trying to tunnel in. Don't think oh. it turned out so well. Nope. Whatever this is, it's getting Ugh. What? What? <gasps> Fuck! No! Oh my god! Who? So now killer robots too? <laughs> the Geth back home would love this place. Yeah, the Geth probably would. Glue is like half of the stream just going to criticizing the character customization system. Pretty much. The only time I actually, uh, you know, criticized the animation was that one character who was running, but that was it. Like, there was no other issue with animations so far. Like, maybe, you know, maybe, like, some weird-looking animations. Like, for instance, the character... Like, for instance, when, when it comes to Scott, his eyes sometimes seem a little too bug-eyed. Just a little. But other than that, he... You know, everything seemed fine. You know, everything didn't look so bad. Like I said, like, when I, um, when I sat down, like, as soon as I slapped the disc in, like, the first thing it asked me before it started installing the actual game was, it needs a down, it needs an update. I'm like, oh, okay, fine, let's update then. So, wait, I already, already scanned everything, right? Let me make sure. I'm very picky. I'll make sure I scan everything. Oh, yep, yep, I didn't. Some serious energy on the other side of that door. Mm -hmm. Maybe it's closed for a reason. These guys were poking around where they shouldn't have. Liam, really, Liam, really? That what? You stop wasting your jetpack. His wounds look like they're from an energy blast. Might have tangled with our robot friend there. Are you sure? Because you said energy blast, so I'm thinking like energy sword, even though it's not a blast. Okay, I'm just gonna shut up now. Uh, Shadow, you said the good thing is that you can change the color of the armors in this. Yes, that's very Inquisition-ish. <laughs> it's fried. Could be a console of some sort. For that door? Liam, quit jumping over that! We are not in acrobatic class. Okay? Stop trying to impress everybody. I'm sorry, Liam. I didn't mean to yell at you. <laughs> Alright, let's open this door and let's get out of here. Any theories, recall specialist? There's some kind of technology on this planet. Older. Underground. Something these aliens are interested in. What the hell? Like archaeologists? Yeah. Bloodthirsty archaeologists. Oh, another thing about the character customization that I will say that I like is the hair color choices. Like, oh my god, they're more diverse. There's different shades of the natural hair colors. I can make one character look like they actually have real dirty blonde looking hair. You know, which dirty blonde, it means it's blonde and brown, obviously, if you don't know. Um, Weather's still crappy. But there's enemies! We got bo we got bogeys! They were waiting for us! Because me freaking stepping that stupid button. Hi there. They got a lighting rod up and running. Are these things stalking us? Starting to feel like it. Okay, run, 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 this run, run. And I oh, I missed. Oh my god, I missed. Today. No, get out of the way. Run. Reload. Come on. Oh, never mind. That was a waste of arm. Lost one's down. Let's not wait around for more. Yes, please. Uh, I think I got everything scanned, so let's go ahead and get on out of here. Oh my god, I do like this though. I like the running animation. Wait, wait. Okay, the running animation's not bad. But yeah, like I do love the hair color things that they, uh, the hair color choices that they have. Uh, let me check the map one more time. There is something here. I'm gonna try and make it over there. Uh, looks like it's over here-ish. You hear that? Sounds like a communication yeah, device. Radio static, but like a pattern. That static's getting louder. 
Something like my thing vibrated like there was something here. Hold on. Am I looking at it? Oh no, there's enemies above us. Ooh, crap. Or either that or they're ahead of us. Alright. Oh no, my controller's vibrating because of the signal. Okay. I think there's like something over here. Let me see. No! Help! Hang on, Greer. I got Stop. you, Greer! Hold on! Keep your head down. Box them in, Liam. Yeah! Them. Wait, we get him? We're clear. Thank God. Yeah! I was tapping my mic, hoping someone would notice. You okay? Yeah. Where are the others? They killed Kirkland. But Fisher's alive, back at the crash site. He's got a broken leg. Needs help. I'll check around for supplies. Then head back. Stay put when you get there. We'll look for my dad's shuttle. Good luck. Can't wait to get off this rock. Alright, let's see if there's anything here. I can vault. I'm running into it. I'm not really looking. Wow, it sucks. Alright, let's see. Uh, Shadow, you said, I do have to say, I love the Krogan Companion. Uh... So which remind, uh, so reminds me of Rex and Grunt put together. Nice. Nice. That's actually really exciting. I can't wait to find or, or to meet our Krogan companion. But as you can see, I am taking my time. Obviously, I'm still in the freaking beginning of the game. Like, really? Alright, I do like this, though. Like, look. Look, like, that's just awesome. Okay, I'll, st I'll stop. I'm sorry. Alright, let's go. Let's get going. Let's get back out of here. Oh, crap. I'm running into stuff. Alright, did I actually do all the other optionals? Uh, let's see. I don't see anything else except for this one, which that's where we need to go for our main mission as well. So, journal, make sure. Yep, investigate the flares and look at the other members of the Pathfinder team. So, that's it. We're good. Let's see if I can make it up. I don't know if I can make it up on top of this this thing. But we can if I angled it just right. No, what are you doing, Scott? Oh, my God. This jetpack's going to be like the horses of Inquisition and Skyrim. No, jump up. Good boy. Watch I'll watch it when I feel like it. Liam? Stay. Alright, um... Let me actually get my gun out. Let me see. Alright, so it looks like we're going to have to continue down the cliff, jump over that, and then continue that way to get to our destination. At least that's what it looks like from here. So, let's get moving. Oh, God. Is there anything here to scan? No. Just keep going, then. What's this? No, just nothing. Okay, okay. I'm I'm sorry. I'm going. I'm going, guys. I'm wasting too much time. I know. I'm sorry. Ryder, some sort of cave over there. God, quit distracting me with stuff to do. Okay, we'll look at it real quick. Debris. Mysterious cave. Alien building. God, there's just way too much stuff. Okay, fine. We'll freaking look at the damn cave. Enemies up there. Let's just stay away from them for right now. I am a r I'm so bad right now. Like, I should be... Mm, I should be going in and investigating the flares. Optional. Explore the cave. Out. Now, this looks more like the golden world my dad was expecting. Then, the long-range scans were right. This could have been home. 600 years ago. And then... Who knows? Dead animal here. In some sort of trap. Pretty recent, too. You suppose those aliens set it? If they did, they don't play nice with anyone. Well, maybe they're starving. True. Uh, see, unknown plant. If it's anything like plants back in the Milky Way, there are signs of cellular mutation. It's lasted this long. Guess that makes it the Alpha Tree, huh? Yeah, but what happened to all its friends outside? Good question. All right, so let me see here. 
I wish I could zoom in closer. There we go. Looks like a giant crab. Ugh. Uh, let's see. Gluji, you said, I recently started listening to a D&D podcast called Adventure Zone. It's very funny. Cool. Uh, I think that's it for this area. At least for this. Zoom! <sighs> what? What kind of a... What? What kind of a jump and climb animation was that? Mainly because it looked like he wasn't even up there all the way. That was the only reason why I'm saying that. Ooh. Doc. Is it about to rain? No, it's that, it's that tornado thing. Whoa. Whoa. Uh, I don't know if I should be over here. Let's pause and look at the map. Uh, yeah, I don't think I'm supposed to be over here. What is that? I can't even scan it from here. It's just, whoa, bro. Okay, hold on, let me just see. Uh, you should give them a listen when you get the time. I will definitely, I will definitely listen to at least one of their podcasts. At least I'll give one of them a listen here. What is this place? I know I'm supposed to be investigating the flares, but what is this? What is this monstrosity? What did I just get myself into? Is this a chance leading to one of the arcs? Oh god, I'm not gonna make it! <gasps> Hold LT to hover for a short time, which is, is good. From below? Uh, alien gods of the underworld? <laughs> Don't say that. I think it's machinery. You can feel the vibration. Oh, the scale of this. Who built it? Alien gods. <laughs> okay, I like that. Alien gods. That was, <laughs> was cute. That was cute, bro rider. I swear, Scott's adorable. Oh, I have to... There. Wait, did that thing just appear? As I got closer? Alright. Anyway, guys. God, what is this place? Where are we? And I like that, too. Like, it, like how he shifts a little bit when he runs uphill and stuff. Like, I love that. It's a nice animation, to be honest. Like, that is a really nice animation. But you know what this what this needs? It needs armor butt straps right now. <laughs> I'm just saying. I would like some armor butt straps. <laughs> I'm just I'm sorry. Alright, uh let me pause the game, let me look at the map again. Alright, so this is just a really big black void. There's a little structure over here. You know, we'll look at it later. We're actually gonna go back. Let's actually go back. Can I go back from here? Let's see. Let's test that theory. Okay. Hey, whoa, easy now. There you go. And then... Boom! Whoa! Oh, look! A thingy. Open it. Uh, AV barrel? Not bad. Vibration dough. Okay, no. It's just... It's just... Okay. Let's see. Hold on. Can I make it back from here? It looks like I can. Uh, is there anything in the middle that looks important? This actually looks like it all came out from underneath the planet. Ryder, more of those aliens ahead. They see us. Oh shh. Oh crap! I can't see. Here we go. No more talking, are they? Look out! More of their pets. Crap! Yes. Oh god, I'm about to die! No! Save! Help! Oh, I'm down. My first death, guys. I died. <laughs> Be right back, Willow. Okay. Okay, Willow. Uh, I'll see you in a minute. Oh my god, I can't believe I died. Alright, let's try, let's try that again. Oh, please tell me. Okay, holding up calls both squad mates. Holding one button. I didn't get to finish reading that. Alright, well, we're back where I wanted to be. This is actually where I wanted to go. So, I already done all that. Let's just, let's just go. Let's just get done. I would love to fight more enemies, but for right now, I, I do want to try and get as much of the storyline done to get to the point where I can save. Oh, no, not the death. Yes, not the death. No death. Alright. I'm just so excited. I don't want to die. I don't want to die anymore. 
All right, yeah, I definitely want to. Yeah, see, look, look at the the thing, like that little thing in the middle. Um, what? Oh, I was stepping in the. Okay, okay, so this is toxic. Like I wasn't even. Oh, sorry, Liam. Like, yeah, I can't scan that. I didn't even realize that. So that liquid of water, it's it's toxic. Uh, okay, so this in the uh, side, uh, I'm trying to think of what it is, The uh, all on the um, optional mission as well, as, or the optional objective and the uh, main objective are both in the same area. I'm tired, but I want to keep playing. Long drop. It is a very long drop, but that's not why I'm looking at it. Let's see. Even close? Hold on, let me check the map. Wow, I gotta keep, I gotta keep going. I gotta keep going. Let's go back over here. All right, let's try to running. Let's keep going. Uh, Shadow says, uh, you still trying to figure out the mining thing in this of this? Uh, since they changed that too. Actually, I haven't even gotten to that point. Like, like I said, I'm still in the very beginning of the game. Like, I'm still trying to just get through the story arc right now. I can't even save manually because I'm not even on the. Ne I don't have the Nexus or anything. I'm like I'm still. I'm like a newborn baby wrapped in nothing, <laughs> kicking and screaming as I come into the new world. All right, this is one of those another one of those alien buildings which I'm actually not going to go into this time. We're just going to keep going. Uh, let me actually make sure. Uh, was I just? I was just there. Okay. Apparently I. Cora, we read you. You're alive. Shuttle repairs are underway, but we're surrounded. They're not friendly. On our way. That point marked. Okay, locate the second shuttle. Uh, and up, oh, I did. I got both of those at the same time. Wow. <laughs> did you see did you see how I died? Oh my god. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Did you see? I was jumping. I died. I did the splits and I fell. I just went I fell right there. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Uh, <laughs> uh, okay, so you... Okay, you, well, I know that you know, yeah. I mean, obviously, you're already further ahead of me than I am. Even Willow is. And um, Willow's like, kill the dogs. Yeah. <laughs> I'll definitely kill the little puppers, unfortunately. Rhythmic R.I.P. Bro Rider. <laughs> Poor Scott, my baby. Let's get in there! Cora, we got your back! They're trying to pin us down! Doing a good job of it, too! Light him up. I'm on it. No, no, get out of there. Protect. Target. I'm trying. Hold on. I got oh my God, that's. Ow. Now hold on a minute. What did we ever do to them? Wait. Yeah, I'm sorry. I'm trying to learn my buttons. Oh my god! Okay, hold on. <sighs> what button? Is there even meta? Is there even meta gel or any kind of thing like that in this game? Or do I have to take cover like in the other two titles? I bet it's take cover in the other two titles. Okay. Harry, you guys okay? Not dead yet. Pits when do rocks float? Just go with it. I picked something up. Okay, scope. Where's the other enemies? 
I can't turn the camera like this. Um, how far is Willow in this? I actually don't know. I just know that she definitely has made it to, uh, she's definitely got the Nexus, so I know she's farther than me right now. So, <laughs> that's for certain. Who's, uh, who just went, uh, wait, no, I'm sorry, I'm trying. Yeah, they know how to fight. Oh my god. I just leveled up. Well, Level up. Cavalry to the rescue. Nice to see you guys. You too, Harry. How is everyone? Still in one piece. You got here just in time. Where's my dad? He went scouting ahead while we fixed the shuttle. Ryder, there's weapons and ammo at the shuttle. Stock up. Did these things try mm. talking to you at all? Barely a word. Then started shooting. What about you? We tried being nice. They didn't play along. Oh. Oh. Oh, man. Oh, yes. Give me the viper. Give me that viper. Hold on. Hell! Enemy ship on the way! Hold on a minute. I'm trying here. Get to... Now, hold on. I just got a viper and I just leveled up. Let me just... Just... Slow down. <laughs> Rhythmic, where's my dad? How the hell should we know that was, there were, was no instruction? <laughs> Alright, let's see here. Um, Havoc Strike. What's Havoc Strike do? Leap forward and stab down on enemies with his Omni Blades, discharging their power to stun all nearby enemies and prime them for combos. Combo detonations. Nice. Overload. Military training improves his offensive capabilities. Uh, Overload does, um, oh wow, I can't even do that anyways. <sighs> okay. Well, Liam's doing a hell of a lot better at surviving than I am right now. I died twice. Alright, so I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to do Havoc Strike. Oh, I got two points. Oh, okay, I can do one here. And I'll do... Oh, I need 18 skills in total. Uh, let's do one towards defense, just to be on the safe side. Uh, Willow, he says, I am at the first planet after getting through Nexus slash Tempest. Okay, so you, we'll, either way, you're still further than I am right now, Willow. Uh, yes, confirm. That's uh, actually combat. Let me look at combat real quick. Uh, sniper rifles. Yes. Uh, let's see. I've got two more points as well. Omni, Omni grenade? What is this? Okay, well, let's barricade, which is good. But really, what I want is is to be able to do healing. Like, I don't think there's even an ability. I don't, I doubt there's no any way to do it. I just have to go to cover and try not to get hit, which that's impossible. I'm going to get hit regardless. All right, so I think, uh, what was I wanting to do? Incinerate? Let me see what incinerate is. Uh, fires a plasma projectile that does bonus damage to armor and inflicts ongoing burning damage to... Unshielding foes, or yeah, unshielding foes, burning enemies are prime for a combo of detonations. Okay, so. Okay, no, I wanted to do this, that's right. I wanted to do cryo because uh, you could freeze them, and when you freeze them, they can't do anything instead of being on fire and running around. Um, uh, Willow says, Hello, I have found that the Nomad sucks. <gasps> no! I don't. Why does it suck? Uh, what? And Shadow says, you mean arrows where you get your first- Okay, so you're talking to Willow about that. But why does it suck? It was supposed to be the best thing ever. <sighs> Don't tell me- is it, Okay, is it like Mako suck? Or does it like worse than Mako suck? Like, like how bad does- Like how bad does, does, the, does the Nomad suck? Like does it suck like as in- As in Mako suck or or worse than the mako like what would you say willow says yeah it sucks because it doesn't drive well so are you saying it's are you oh wait i'm trying to are you, like are you saying it's worse than than the mako or you use triggers triggers Okay, well, actually, I know I'm kind of used to that. I'm actually kind of used to triggers, but no, I like I get that. Like for for people who have never played uh, other games, like like played certain games where you had to use the triggers to drive, that's understandable. Like why like 
that's totally understandable. Me, I'm used to actually doing triggers uh, for certain, like especially with certain games. But yeah, I can totally see where you're coming from with that. But still, man, I'm actually kind of scared to drive it though. Like I'm, I am. Like if if it doesn't drive well, <laughs> Willow Lameco is a smooth ride <laughs> with the Y. See, I love you. I love you. <laughs> All right, I'll do Cryo Beam because I said that's what I was gonna do. Oh. <laughs> Jesus, I'm so. Oh my God. All right, hold on. Effects enemies with it. Ooh, can I do that now? Oh no, I can't. No. Uh, ooh, duration? Yes. All right. Yes, confirm. I will actually probably maybe do one of these. Yeah, I'm not sure, but yeah, I'm definitely gonna do sniper rifles. Gonna work on my sniper, my snapping skills. <laughs> All right. Where are the where's the enemies? Am I? I don't even know what's going on. Balls to try and airdrop. Yes. Oh, I can't do cryo right now. Okay. Yes. Freeze them. Heads up! Another shuttle incoming. This weather? Can I? Yes, we got their attention. Are those oh god! I wish. No! They've got some weird cloaking ability. You're shitting me! Nope! Sound off! I'm here! Still alive! Kind of. Here! Present! Alright, we got our first uh, shielded enemy. What? No! Freeze! Oh. Just keep firing. We can do this. Was it the cat? I hope not. Ow! Oh my god, acid. Damn, they won't let up. Oh my god, no, I'm I'm going? dead. God, I suck at this here. game already. All right, let me just hold on a second. Let me read your comments. Uh, Shadow said, "Yeah, you use the RT uh, to drive forward or back up. Uh, RT and LT. Yeah, that's normal for me. That that is normal. Uh, your aim is better than mine at the moment. <laughs> uh, Willow, you says you need ammo, love. Yeah, I know. Really like this combat. I'm I'm still I'm trying to get you used to it. It's 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 so." Mmm, oh, too quick and food for me. I'm just gonna hide in here. I'll let you fight by. Y of course, I can't. I can't let you guys fight by yourself. That would mean I'm an here asshole. And wait, oh my God. don't tell me none of my, s none of my skills saved. Oh my God. You know what? Give him a f mm, frag grenade. There, I know that's not what he had, but you know what? I'm just, I'm just, I'm not doing this right now. Uh, I wanted to do cryo beam, and then I actually confirmed back out of here, and I went to sniper rifles. I gave him one point there. Yes, confirm, and let's go back down, and let's do what was it? Offensive, or no, it was duration. Which yes, let's do duration. Let's confirm. Let's get the hell out of here, and let me do tactical cloak and fix my damn they camera because that's not what I wanted. Off. Please tell me I can punch this dude before I can. I fucking missed. Son of a bitch. Ah, lightning zap their shuttle. Take that, son of a bitch. Where are the rest of them? Ow. Fuck you. Fuck you. Heads up. Not in the fucking mood. Back off. Yes, we got their attention. Are those dogs? I wish. They've got some weird cloaking ability. All right, hold You're on, guys. Me. Camera. Okay, this is starting to piss me off. I'm here. Still alive. Here. Present. Can't do this. I can't get a beat on those things. 
God. Hold on, guys. I will get to your comments when I when I'm done with this place because this is just. Cora, shut up. You are not helping this situation none. My God. Where is those bastards? See one left. You better be the fucking last one. I am not in the mood for your shit! <sighs> there we go. I'm good. I'm okay now. Liam, enough. Right. It's just these assholes kill Kirkland. Just hold on a minute, because I'm the one who needs to calm down. Alright, let me see. Nemesis, you said, just a funny Twitch to follow. <laughs> I love it. Well, I, I appreciate that you love it, even though I was actually kind of raging there for a second. Uh, Shadow, you said, I like the Mako. When you start upgrading it right now, uh, it might be weak. Okay, that makes sense. Rhythmic, you said, thanks, Nemesis, for the follow. If you've been following for a while, I know I actually don't know. Unfortunately, because I'm streaming through the console, I actually don't get notifications if you guys are following me or not. I have to check on my on my uh, my phone and things like that. Unless he's following you now, Rhythmic. I'm mean, actually I'm kind of confused right now too. All right, so give me a second, guys. I'm gonna f get my water here because I actually am not gonna lie. I raged for a minute there that last that last half part of the battle. Mmm. Oh my god, there was a piece of ice stuck in the straw. Because I left the whole cup in the freezer, so... Oh, but that's so nice and cold! Uh, Nemesis, you said, I'm new, just followed. Yay! Thank you for the follow, I appreciate it. And I'm glad you're enjoying yourself. How are you today, by the way? <laughs> Alright, yes, calm down, Liam. Calm your tatas. Akuna, your tatas! What about the others? Fisher's wounded, but sitting tight. Greer's with him. Though our shuttle's in pieces. Guys. She's been hit! Take cover! Take cover! No! Contagious. Before they attacked, I I managed to fix our comms. You're a lifesaver. Now just take it easy. Sam, are you there? QEC link established. Affirmative, Scott. The Pathfinder needs to speak with you. Good to see you in one piece. What's our status? Liam and I are with Cora. We have wounded crew. The good news is our shuttle's been repaired. We can get back to the Ark. Not with these storms. It's too risky to fly. Our wounded can't wait much longer. Do you have something in mind? If the storm is the problem, then let's solve the problem. We're talking about weather. And I have an idea about that. Rendezvous with my coordinates will... Damn, they spotted me. Sir? Sir! Can you two manage alone? I can keep her stable. For a while. Let's move. All right, let me pause. Let me see. I think Cora can level up. Yeah, Cora and Liam can actually. Apparently, Liam's got more points. No, he does not. Okay, so I know Cora probably. Yeah, Cora's got two points. Okay, let me read everyone's comments here. Uh, Rhythmic says, "By the way, Cat, we reached 80 yesterday. I know. Like, I, I'm still like, I'm still kind of like. <laughs> wow. <laughs> like that's like that's my reaction to learning I have like 80 followers. Like, I'm even getting followers when I'm not streaming. Like, it's, like, so odd. But I guess they're watching, like, old streams, so they're enjoying themselves. And that's great. You know, I really want people to come here and enjoy themselves. And just enjoy the game with me, even when I have to rage a little bit. <laughs> uh, Nemesis, you said, fine, but man, it's too hot around here. And AL, oh well. <laughs> and Shadow, you said, congrats on emails. Thank you, I appreciate it. Uh, Rhythmic, you said, I had my friend... Uh, follow yesterday when I said I know two cats. Oh, thanks. I appreciate it. I swear, you guys are awesome-tastic. 
Mm. Oh, by the way, since you guys are in the stream right now, uh, for those who are either new or have just joined or anything like that, uh, me and Lady Willow are actually going to stream the, uh, the Andromeda's multiplayer tomorrow. Uh, we're going to make a schedule sometime tomorrow, in the like maybe tomorrow during the day, and then at night, that night we're going to probably stream the game. So, like the multiplayer portion. So it's going to be so exciting. <laughs> Ooh, she got the Asari Commando ability? Like, what the hell? That's cool, girl. That's so cool. Uh, let's see. It improves Korra's offensive capabilities by um, honing her Asari Commando training. Ooh, shotgun force and shotgun damage. Yes. Take that. Uh, Nova. What is Nova? It channels energy into a point-blank high damage explosion around. <laughs> yes. Let's do that. Oh my god. So jelly. Uh, Lady Willow's like, yeah. Or, woo, but yeah. And yay, thank you, Rhythmic, for the link to her uh uh her 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 Twitch channel. I greatly appreciate that way everyone else can also check her out here in the chat right now. Um Yep. <laughs> Kappa, I have everything ready. <laughs> you are awesome, Tasmic Rhythmic. What would I do without you? Like, what would my life on Sam, Twitch be without you? <laughs> Marking the nav points on your map. Doesn't look far. Let's make this quick. We have to get there before the storm hit. No detours. What was my dad scouting for? He was trying to get readings on that tower. Well, the nap would put some near it. Exercise caution. The storm front is already gaining intensity. Nice to have oh, you back, Sam. How about some good news next time? <laughs> All right. So I can't really do anything with my equipment here, so I'm, I guess I'm gonna have to wait until we get to a certain location. Ryder, your dad was in trouble. We have to find him. I'm sorry. I just want to make sure I got everything I need. We're Even find the pathfinder, like right now. Okay, we're going. I'm sorry. Jesus Christ, you guys are jerks right now. <laughs> Let's shrug. I'm hoping I'm going the right way. Let me pause. Let me look at the map. Um. I'm hoping I'm going the right way. Let's just let's just see here. Yeah, I think I'm going the right way. Oh, you guys told me to go, so I'm going. I guess because they're annoying me with this. Look, the rock. They're drawing the lightning away. If we hug that wall, they might keep us safe. What this one? Dead bodies here. Lightning didn't do this. Incendiary rounds. My dad's been busy. He was an N7. They don't mess around. All right, so the All right, let me just pause for a second so I can take a look here. So the rods in this building actually protect uh from lightning. So and they said hop over the wall. Is that what they said? Oh, let me just right here. Locate the pathfinder, okay. Can I even go through this door? I think the door's locked. Okay, so how is It's sealed shut. All right, well, you know what? We're going to just going to go the other way then. I'm not complaining. Let's just go. Whoa, oh my god, acid. Only way to survive here. Ow. Two. If you count shooting on We're close. The that point shows my dad's up there. That was fast. I'm sorry, I had to. <laughs> I hope I didn't skip no dialogue. Sir. Stay low. Oh my god, Papa Ryder. What are we doing? found an abandoned lab, like they've been studying the place. Good work. You actually did some scouting. <laughs> oh god, okay, this is really hard. So, that's what I'm trained for. Thank you. Yeah, we're gonna do logic real quick. Wouldn't be much of a recon specialist if I didn't. You're off to a good start. Baptism by fire. Sir, you said you had an idea about the weather? It's the dark energy cloud the Hyperion hit. It's affecting the whole planet. Interfering with that. The tower is caught in a feedback loop with the clouds. Together they're disrupting the entire climate with undirected energy. It would explain a cave we found. Plant life sheltered from the storm. From that tower. It 
it's a good bet. And I think if we can get in there and shut the tower down, the lightning goes away. And the shuttle can get us out of here, in theory. We just have to get past them. We're banking on science we don't really understand. What if the theory's wrong? The alternative is an 85% chance of death from lightning strike, capture, or worse. You had to ask. <laughs> well, when you put it that way. No illusions about this. It'll be a nasty fight the whole way. Beats getting fried by lightning, but we risk turning a skirmish with these guys into something worse. It's them or us. Oh, it's them. The problem is we're outnumbered. I've been working on that. We just need to change the math. Oh my god. Oh yeah. Destroy the rods. And you got no protection from the lightning. <laughs> Let's go! Right behind you. Push ahead to the structure. No! Sam, load combat profile. Here they come! Now we've got their attention. Watch the lightning! Get into that building. We don't want to get bogged down out here. Yes. Oh, that's Cora. Whoops. This one's south in a hurry. Oh, lightning strike. Oh god, no. I can nearly die. No, freeze. Freeze. Go, 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 go. What I pick up? Cool. I'll read your comments, I promise. Oh, thank God, Cora. I thought you were one of them. Yeah, okay, can I... Still unknown life form. Okay, let's get the gun back out. Scott, get moving. I am moving. Just shh. Everyone shh. I'm trying to concentrate. Yeah. Big bada boom. Okay. Oh, Nemesis had to go. Okay, that's what it was. I'm sorry, Nemesis, that I couldn't read your comment, but I appreciate it. Sam, biotic amp interface mode. Ah. Here. Keep the momentum up. Don't let him get the drop on you. Oh my god. No, reload. Come on. Keep up. No, Cora, he's mine. I want to actually be useful. Did I get all the enemies? Not if we keep moving forward. Don't let him catch us. <gasps> oh my god. Scared the living fucking shit out of me. Ready? Let's get inside there. That's it. We're doing it. How much farther? Where are we going? All the way to the top. And then what? We'll know when we get there. <laughs> oh, oh, that hurts. Boom. Almost fried me. Alright, we good? Anything a scan? Yay, nay, probably not. Don't Let's stop. just go. If we fall behind, we're dead. I will in a second. Jesus Christ, everyone just shish. Try to make sure I got everything I need. You guys are just so mean. All right, let me pause for a second so I can read the comments here. Uh, Shadi said, uh, yeah, I had to go back to Tyrios wanted up with some side quests after you have the option to build your first settlement or outpost, which was military or science. Nice. And Nemesis Will said, well, I got to get uh, to sleep working tomorrow night. See you later. Z's. <laughs> and everyone says night. Okay, good. Shit, good, good, good. Okay. Shots. Had to get everything? Are we good? No, no. Well, then let's keep moving. Come What's on. the way to go? Sam, give me engineer profile. Where the hell? I don't have to Okay. On me. This looks no, like a tactical. Center. Keep him off my back. You heard him. We made it. In one piece. Not over yet. I need to get through that door over there. Oh god, no. Get back to cover. Get back in the cover. Oh 
god. I'm sorry, I'm trying to make sure I pick up everything as much as I can. Oh no, you're mine. You're mine. Yeah. yeah. All right, let's go follow Papa Ryder. What now? I need to decipher the language. There's more coming up. What's the plan here? They'll surround us in no time. We need to defend both sides or they'll flank us. Where do you want us? All right. Right. Cor Cora go there and Liam go here. It. Watch it. Just making sure there's nothing to scan. Get the gun back out. We held them off at the shuttle. We can do it again. A lot of people still counting on us. I'm just getting warmed up. Now I gotta help defend both sides. They mean business. Keep them off your dad. I'll keep them off. Ryder, don't go too far. I'm not. Look, look what you made me do, Cora. I missed. Anyway, I don't know, but they sure want it back. Get away, <laughs> you I monster. Maybe because... Well, 50% decrypted. It's an unusually complicated syntax. I can see that. Try recursive. <gasps> no! I will need a moment. Get away! We only have a moment. Do it. Oh God. Sir, any progress? Decryption is 75% complete. We've almost got it. They're <laughs> falling back. Could be regrouping for another push. Stay sharp. Decryption complete. That did it. It's a security override. I'll try to open the door from here. Ah, damn, it's jammed. I need to take a look at it. Ugh. All right, well, Cora, go this way this time. Back. Scott, I need your help over here. Go, it's okay. We'll keep a lookout. We need to get this door open. On it. There we go. Thank God. I probably forgot to scan it or something. I don't know. Well, we'll find out. You really think we can shut this thing down? I don't know yet. Sam's decoded part of the language. Now we'll see if I can have a conversation. Nothing on this planet has listened so far. Just be careful. Worried about your old man, huh? I won't tell anyone. <laughs> uh, what training Come am I? On. I am operative. These are the moments that make it all work. I'm an operative. Yeah, that's right. I'm an operative. That's what I started with. <gasps> Sam, begin translating. A moment. Indexing. Translation complete. Let's see what we have. Be careful. I'll be damned. It's working. You did it. There's hope at least. That's all anyone back in the Ark is looking for. Hope it'll work out. Well, not if we stand around looking at sunsets. 
Let's get back to the shuttle and... What? The hell just happened? Oh, that's right, because they because they disabled it, the tower's kind of... Oh, his helmet's broken! Oh, please say he can breathe. Please say he can breathe. Oh, no. Repeat. No. We need an emergency extraction now. They're spinning up the shuttle. ETA is three, maybe four minutes. We don't have that long. No. 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 Transfer. Oh, Papa Ryder! Papa Ryder, no! No! Ryder's implant is overloading. I suggest a hardwire connection. Do it! There! Welcome back, Scott. What happened? You were clinically dead for 22 seconds. Did the rest of the team make it? Hey, you're still with us. Guys, get to Sam Node. Riders awake. Who are you talking to? Sam. I didn't hear him. You're up. Look here. And here. My father. Oh, please. Where? And he chose you. I'm sorry, Scott. I know this must be a blow. Damn. All right, I, I need a, I need a second here. Um. Oh God! Uh, I won't be able to read you guys in the chat. I'm, um, I've got my glasses off right now. Ooh. Come on, keep it together. Damn. Look what you've done to me, Bioware! I am now a blubbering, crying idiot. No, Papa Ryder. No, <laughs> I'm trying not to like be sad. Cry. I'm trying to like like um. <laughs> I'm trying to laugh so I'm not like actually act like a bubbling fool. But oh my god, this right in the feels. I mean, yeah, sure. I mean, I've been playing this game for since nine thirty. It's already already almost one o'clock in the morning now. 
<laughs> no, poor Papa Ryder. Man. He made the ultimate sacrifice. He got the team out of danger. We all owe him for that. He once said that when his time came, he wanted to go out among stars no one had seen before. Definitely sounds like... What are we doing in Sam, Node? Sam is now part of you. In a way we don't entirely understand. It played havoc with your brain. Sam? Your father authorized the transfer of Pathfinder authority to you. Shouldn't that be Korra? In theory. In reality, you're the new Pathfinder, Scott. Uh, uh. Shadow's like, it gets real hard when Sis Rider asks about death. No! Right in the feels! Really? Jeez. You're kidding me! You can't be serious. What's the matter? I think you're up for it. You saw my dad in action. It takes years to become a Pathfinder. You learn as you go. Besides, you won't be doing this alone. It's all academic anyway. Sam's linked to your mind on a deeper level now. Trying to untangle it could kill you. I know this is tough, but we need to start thinking about the next step. A lot of people are counting on us. Is the Ark still drifting? That's the thing. Whatever your dad did with that tower, it saved the day. Some sort of atmosphere scrubber. The energy cloud thinned out. We're on our way to the rally point now. Should be at the Nexus soon. He needs to rest first. He's got two hours. We'll need our Pathfinder for this. Oh, I checked on your sister. There's still no change. But if you can pull through, so can she. A bit of your dad in both of you. Your father will be missed. What's going on, Sam? This is our private channel. I shared it with him. Why did he do it? Why me? Unknown. But he never acted without reason. Alec wouldn't want us to lose sight of the goal. He said pain emboldens our resolve. He'd insist we grow stronger from his passing. Okay, I'll try to do what Papa Ryder says. It's gonna be easy though. God, right in the fields, man. Achievement unlocked. Pathfinder. Hmm. Doesn't make me any. Doesn't make me feel any better. Bioware, hurting my feelings, killing characters.
Yeah, I think that cat's pretty pissed off right now. <laughs> I think he's pissed. Like, seriously pissed. Ryder, good to see you on your feet. We're at the Nexus. It's the forward hub for the entire Andromeda Initiative. The Asari, Solarian, and Turian Arcs should be there, too. Let's hope they've had better luck. Starting our approach now. It's almost as big as the Citadel back home. Nexus Control, this is Arc Hyperion, requesting docking clearance. Captain, I'm only getting their automated approach channel. Not a live person. Well, like it or not, we're here. Take us in. Ooh. Construction yeah. should have been finished by now. Could be worse. How? Habitat 7's a bust. We might have started a war with the first aliens we met, and our Pathfinder's dead. This better be rock bottom. Green across the board. Docking initiated. I'm hoping that the di that the dialogue that uh, Ryder says is based mo on like on what right. choices you picked most. I got us here. Good luck, Pathfinder. All right, let me pause for a minute and just take a second here. Let me read some comments. Uh, Shadow, you said, And since you're playing as Bro Rider and Sis is in some state of a coma, there will be a point where you make a choice to tell her or lie about Dad's death. Just a heads up. Thank you for the heads up, though. I do appreciate it. I figured there was going to be some point where something like this happened. Uh, Willow's like, yeah, that kid is pissed. <laughs> oh, Liam can level up. Oh, I have to wait. Okay. Wait, why does it keep... Like, he has no more... Alright. Finally! <laughs> yes! I would like to equip this somehow. Is there even a way? Alright. Uh, let's do view details. Okay, no, let's back out. Um, armor. Helmet. Mm-hmm. Initiative helmet. Mm-hmm. Actually, I do wonder how, like, how it worked. Like, we, we did the whole thing with the website where we watched those videos and then we would get a free helmet. Is this the free helmet or am I, am I crazy? I bet all those come in a different, like, pa package of some sort. Okay, so this is just all of the, um, yeah, this is all the regular armor. Okay, so I'll just stop there. What am I doing? Yeah, inventory. Uh, pistols. Uh, da, 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 da. Well, cool, I can rotate it, but that doesn't help me none. Armor, consumables, research. Oh, I got some research points here. Oh, nice. Okay. So it's telling me I need that much of this stuff to be able to do any of these research things. Okay. Ooh. Weapons. Da-da. 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 Oh, anyway. Uh, and then the minerals and stuff, etc., etc., blah, blah, blah. Okay. I'm definitely going to have to look at all this stuff on my off time because I don't want to... I don't want to waste too much time in front of y'all looking at every single one of these. My Omniblade, two pistol mods, etc., etc., yada, yada, yada. No shotguns, but shotgun mods, and so on and so forth. I promise I will look at all that. okay, Ryder. The captain just called me Pathfinder. This is really happening. Just take a deep breath. I still can't believe Dad's dead. This should have been his moment. But now it's yours. You just need to decide what you're gonna do with it. Where do I start? I'm just not sure I'm ready. We weren't ready to fall out of the sky on Habitat 7. But we survived that. Right. So, always keep a jump jet handy. All right, let's see. Uh, Willow, you say you get it when the briefing gear on the Tempest. Okay, cool. Thank you. Oh, party? Nope, no party this time around. I can't. Not during a, not during a stream. Nope. I'm pressing A thinking I want to jump. I can't jump. It's not an achievement. The captain wants to see a full duty roster. I just updated the charts. She'll want to see crew reassignments first. Start with you guys running into me for? Oh, container! 
Just want to make sure I pick up things too. Can I scan? I can still scan. I don't. I don't doubt there's like I doubt there's anything I have to like important that I can scan. I hope not. This is why I wish I can manually save. Why can't I save game? This is what we've been waiting for. Let your teams know that docking procedures are now in effect. We've got twenty thousand colonists still asleep, and we'll need somewhere to put them when the alarm clock goes off. As soon as we get clearance from the next team, we'll be following safer for virus protocol. Oh, sorry, I was running into. I was listening to the conversation, and letting you guys actually hear it too as well. All right, let's just get going. Okay. Let's go. Let's do it. It'll be nice to see some friendly faces this time. The Nexus runs a support crew, just enough to finish building the station and provide safe harbor for the Arcs. Means we can start waking our people up. They built a bar, right? Gotta have champagne for the welcome party. You're expecting one? After what we've been through, I could use a buzz. We all could. Yeah. Rough ride so far. <laughs> ride. Real food and a shower are just ahead. Something tells me that none of that's ready. Here we are. Uh, Shadow, you said, take your time here. At this point, there's a lot here you might miss. Okay. Don't like the look of that. Uh, I don't see any champagne. Where is everybody? Oh my god, is, are they still- they are still asleep, aren't they? Well, this can't be right. It's like everything's on standby. If it's a surprise party, they're doing an awfully good job of it. We could see what the VI has to say. Right, hold on. Tyrium. Mm-hmm. Plants are Supply still crate. Alive. Anything over here? Ooh, container! Mine! It's like they didn't finish building it. Okay, I got that. Hello? Uh-huh. Computer terminals. This place Anything over should here? be packed with people. Uh, teriums. And I'll scan the rest here in just a moment. Let me... Unless... Sh mm, should I scan or should I go ahead and talk? Well, no. I'm probably going to go keep scanning just in case. See what else I can find. Especially because this is a new area and everything looks like it's it's down. So, yes, I know. Avina. I'm sure that's that's who that is. It's, it's probably Avina. Which I'm actually kind of happy that they brought her back. Like the actress who does her. What's that? Human male. Huh. This is likely a member of the Nexus support crew engaged in electronic repairs. Okay. So let's talk to Avina real quick and then we'll do our thing. Welcome to the Nexus, gateway to Andromeda. I'm Avina, a virtual intelligence designed to assist you with immigration. Uh, can you tell us where the welcome party is hiding? I'm sorry. My code is limited to information and simple interaction simulations. Please select from the following pre-programmed responses. What year is it? The current year is 2819. After spending over 600 years in stasis, it's normal to feel disoriented or confused upon arrival. Our helpful medical staff can assist with any physical or psychological after effects you may be experiencing. Well... She's got the date right, at least. So where is everyone? Where do colonists live? Once you've cleared immigration, our helpful staff will assist you in choosing the home world of your dreams. Will it be the tropical paradise of Habitat 7? The gentle rolling hills of Habitat 3? Or perhaps the mysterious twilight world of Habitat 5? Whichever you choose, rest assured our pathfinders have carefully vetted all colony worlds to ensure your security and prosperity. Oh boy. Habitat 7. That's where we landed. She's way out of date. 
How does the immigration process work? We ask that you submit to a brief medical exam to ensure your health and well-being after making such a long journey. Once you've been cleared, our colonization experts will assist you in finding your new home. Please be mindful of the queue. Thousands of eager colonists like you are waiting to begin their new life in Andromeda. Uh, where? Place is deserted. What is the Nexus? The Nexus serves as the central hub for the Andromeda Initiative's colonization efforts. It is the first destination for all colonists upon their arrival in the new galaxy. Please enjoy the many venues the Nexus has to offer. As the station expands, it will one day serve as the seat of government for Milky Way colonists. Providing a safe, stable, and prosperous environment is our primary goal. Not from the looks of it. What can you tell me about the Andromeda Galaxy? Here in Andromeda, you are over two million light years away from the Milky Way Galaxy. This is the furthest any life form has ever traveled outside our home system, making you a brave pioneer indeed. The Nexus itself is located in a region known as the Helios Cluster. Here, you and thousands of your fellow colonists will fulfill your dreams of settling a new home. Fortune awaits. That's all. It has been my pleasure. Please see one of our helpful immigration staff for further assistance. And welcome to your new home in Andromeda, where the brightest star is you. Current wait time for immigration processing is... Unknown error. Right. That was helpful. Hmm, very. Alright. So let's see here. Yeah, I'm sorry about, about being quiet during that scene. You know me, when it comes to dialogue and conversations, I'm always very quiet. But there was a person over here, and look, they're still here. There's a guy. Maybe he's got champagne. Um, is there anything else over here that I can scan by chance real quick? Let's talk to that worker. I will when I'm fucking done, would you stop it? <clears throat> Hello, sir. Why don't we just May we sp guy? Oh my god, Liam. If I had the ability right now, I'd punch you in the face. Just stop. Cora, don't you dare say anything. I swear. I swear to God, don't say a word. Okay. As I was saying, good day, sir. What are you doing? Hi. Hi there. Sorry, guys. Yeah, hi. We're from Ark Hyperion, and wondering where everybody went. Did he hear you? Uh... Did you say an Ark? Yeah, we just got in. And for what it's worth, your VI over there could use an update. But... We thought you were all dead. What? Or captured, or lost in dark space, or... But you're here. You have no idea how much this means. I don't believe it. <gasps> I'm a Tyrion! I'm Tyrion Kandros. I lead our militia on the Nexus. I'm Scott Ryder. This is Cora Harper and Liam Costa, part of the Pathfinder team. I'm sorry for the confusion. Our sensors told us an Ark had arrived, but Helios is notorious for scrambling equipment. We thought you were just another malfunction. Hold on. First off, this Turian is hot. <laughs> okay, he's really good. I love his markings. His markings are so cool. He's got the... It looks like he's got blue eyes. Like, those are some damn blue eyes. Oh, shit. All right, Shadow says, uh, yeah, the Nexus, um, is like the Citadel. Lots to do here after you get to Eros and do the settlement thing. Then people wake up and get really busy where you're at. Will is like, like, damn it, Corridon, calm down. <laughs> Yay! And, uh, and, and Blue's hosting me again. Sweet, thank you host for hosting me, Blue. Mm-hmm, Willow, mm-hmm. So why is that? But aren't yeah. you expecting us? You're the first arc we've seen. After a year of waiting and no sign of the others, we shuttered this area and stopped looking. You've been stranded for a whole year? Longer. I'll fill you in on the way to Op Center. Yes, please. Please do fill me in. I just shivered a little bit. Oops. Everything that could go wrong with our plan has. We arrived 14 months ago. Right away, we hit a band of dark energy that knocked us off course. We're familiar with it. Then you'll know oh. why we call it the Scourge. We lost whole sections of the station. 
A lot of people died. No power, no food. The chaos went on for months. It finally led to armed rebellion. When order was restored, the insurgents were banished. Exiles, we call them. Are things back to normal? Not even close. But you're here now, so maybe the worst is over. Alright. I can't scan him right now. And actually, if you look at the stance on him, like his, like the Turians have different, like their stance is a little different. So I think that's very interesting. Like their knees are more... How do I explain this? Okay. Think Halo and think Elites. Like, that's what the Turians look like now. And to be honest, I'm sure that that's what they wanted to intend to make the Turians look like before. And now they have, like, the new engine and everything for Andromeda has definitely helped boost that ability to make them look more like the elites from Halo, from, like, the Halo series. They're not hunched over, but their knees are, like, their legs are perfectly shaped the way the elites are from, from, uh, Halo. That's actually really nice. I'm sure that's what they wanted to do originally, but never were able to do it, so they look like they're sh standing straight up like normal people. I don't know. That's just that's just an observation, which is not bad. It's a good observation. All right, let's get going. No word from the other pathfinders. No word from anyone. Period. Any threats from the locals? So far, we've stayed hidden. We're in no shape to deal with an attack. We had a first contact situation on Habitat Seven. Whole thing went south. They tried to kill us. That wasn't first contact. We know about them. Those aliens are going to be a real problem. This day just keeps getting better. We're here. Oh. Just trying I'm to make sure I get a good camera. I'll check out the security situation. You should know our command structure has been fractured. Some of us are filling in for leaders who died. Is it true? They said drop everything and report for duty. And no one was expecting an ARC to finally show up. Docking procedures are green across the board. Stand by to merge Hyperion power into the grid. Our Krogan! <gasps> and our Solarians! <gasps> the crew of the Hyperion. Good luck. I'm Jaren Tan, director of the initiative. You have no idea how much your arrival means to us. We've heard about what happened. And we're ready to help. We could use any supplies you have. Food, water, we're short on everything. This is Foster Addison. She oversees colonial affairs. Where's the Pathfinder? You're looking at him. You're not Alec Ryder. My father's dead. He made me his successor. Alec is dead. Please understand. The entire initiative is at risk. None of the Golden Worlds panned out. They're a bust, and there's been no word from the other Arcs. What happened to them? Unknown. Our supplies are nearly depleted. Rationing bought us some time, but even that's running out. We need to find more resources. But that takes people, and we can't wake them up. Until they have somewhere to live. A Golden World. Now more than ever, we need a Pathfinder. It now falls to you, Ryder. Are you up to the task? Okay, let me see. Uh, Willow's like, well, how, when the heck did Slarians get so tall? I don't know. Somehow between 600 years, they must have had some sort of weird growth spurt. <laughs> Since they can only live like, wait, 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 wait uh, let me think. The longest Solarians could live is like what? Uh, 50, 40 to 50 years? 60 is pushing it, I think, right? So between like 30 to 60 years is, is, is like their normal lifespan. And I think 60 is really pushing the Solarian lifespan, so. I really am curious how they got so tall. <laughs> they're like. They're usually supposed to be like just a teeny bit shorter than Turians, right? Or like at least the same height or something. I don't know. Alright, so usually I would go professional here, but I'm gonna just go logical. My father believed I am. If you trusted him with a job, you'll have to trust his judgment. 
Your father won't be around to fix things if you fail. That's no way to treat a guest. <gasps> a female croaky. I'm Nak Sorry. superintendent of this station. Hope they haven't scared you off already. It's nothing personal, but now isn't the time for on-the-job training. At least the Pathfinder here seems willing to try. We could use a fresh perspective. You've heard my concerns. I'll leave you to it. We're all feeling the pressure. Whoa. Let's have a private word in my office, Ryder. We'll discuss giving you a scout ship. I'm uh, happy to work out the details with your associate. Can we... Can we please stop? Can the cutscene stop and end for just a moment, please? Welcome to the Nexus. Okay, thank God. Uh, did you guys just see that? She literally went behind Cash. Boop! She disappeared. What? What was that? What was that? She literally dis no, what's what's the word I'm like where she 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 evaporated, dissipated, poofed, gone bye bye, abracadabra, whatever the heck you want to call it. She literally just went and disappeared. What? What was that? <sighs> well, I'll be nice, I'll just say, no, it is a mess. I can't believe how far off track things have gone. It's bad, but it's not over. Not yet. Ma'am, the Hyperion's core is now online. Let me show you something. I'm so happy we got a female cro- uh, yeah, a female crow. An hour ago, <laughs> that was all dark. But with the power from your ship, you're keeping the lights on. You have my vote. And when the power runs out? You'd best go talk to Director Tan. Make sure that doesn't happen. And don't be shy. Come see me when you have a chance. Jesus. Look at all that information I just got. You said Vetra. You said the magic word. Where is she? Where is she? Where is she? I'm sorry. <laughs> Hold on just a moment. Okay, I'm back. I'm making sure I got something I needed. But seriously though, where is Vetra? I'd like to find her. I want to find her. I'm going to see if I can find her and- well actually hold on, no. Can I manually save now? I would love to- yes. Okay, thank god I can finally manually save now. Okay, so this is one of- whoops, wrong button. All right, let me actually do a new slot. Go ahead and manually save. I don't know, uh, hold on. Willow, is it possible to find Vetra right now or no? Because if not, I might call it quits. Uh, we'll talk in a minute. <laughs> uh, but yeah, Willow, um, if, if there's a way to find Vetra right now, I would totally do it right now. Uh, she's where the Tempest is. Okay, so let me see what my objectives are. My main objective is to speak with Director Tan. Okay, so oh, I can't find Vetra right at the moment. Mm. All right, moving on. Docking All right. Let me see. Actually, hold on. Let me let me do a few things. Can I scan anything in here? Looks like. Is that scannable? No, it just looks like it's scannable, but it's not. I don't wish I could scan it. Are you a Turian? What are you? Yeah, you're a Turian. You didn't look like one for a second. Uh, hmm. There's so much going on. Oh. Who are you? Hi. You're just a random- okay, you're just a random- I'm sorry. Okay. <laughs> I'm sorry, guys. Starting to get a little sleepy here. I think what I'm gonna do is, um... 
Hmm. Let me just let me just see if I could talk to this character over here. So Addison, you're for that woman from earlier, All right? right? What happened? You. To, who? to whom? And your goddamn father? Sorry, my face is tired from dealing with everything, and right now I just want to know what happened with Alec, not how you're he died. I pulled those logs. What happened with Pathfinder? Okay, your face is tired. Okay. In the moment, it saved my life. But it seems my father meant for me to get the role eventually. It isn't hereditary. If we wanted an inbred monarchy, we could have left half our gene stock back home. <sighs> Not home. The Milky Way. This is home. This mess. We don't have a lot of options, Ryder. Maybe you'll prove your father right. After 14 months of failed colonization, forgive me if I don't hold my breath. All right, uh, Will's like, uh, Addison is a jerk. She is a jerk. She sounds like a jerk. Oh, no, it was Shadow. I'm, I'm so sorry, Shadow, if I misread. If I, I don't know if I said your name. I think I did when I said you were telling me that was where the Tempest was. If uh, that Vetra's at the Tempest. Okay. Uh, let me see here. Let's actually talk. You called my father Alec. No one does that. A lot of us joined the initiative because of his vision. What he shared of it, anyway. Were you friends? Or... I'm not your new mother, if that's what you're asking. Or Thank wife. God. He hated that I didn't use his title. But no one's a pathfinder until they've path found something. Much like a colonial director without colonies. How do you fit into the Nexus leadership? I oversee the actual settlement effort. As the number of outposts is currently less than ideal, my influence is limited. As Tan is quick to remind me. Left a perfectly adequate career as a chief officer. Provincial capital, too. Only a new galaxy could pull me away. And here we are, idling. Uh, synchronized animation there, didn't we? Uh, Shadow, you said, go talk to Tan, he'll say about a new ship. After that, you can get to the ship in Vetra. Nice. Um, okay. You've had no colony successes in over a year. How many tries is that? Less than you'd think. The Scourge, Spoiled Worlds, Exiles, Hostiles. We can't just plop down an outpost and expect picket fences. We need the Pathfinder and Sam to scout, evaluate, and inspire. The initiative promised a goal. Andromeda has not cooperated. And if it had? Beautiful, utopian horseshit. Colonies that produce and support each other. The Nexus as Citadel. Not headed by Tan. Or even me. There must be some kind of plan for encountering hostile aliens. We can't have been that naive. We expected life. Not an enemy that refuses to talk. They don't attack. They disinfect. We're nothing until we're bacteria. Sorry, 14 months and you stoop to poetry. That's how bad it is. Not sure who started <laughs> it, but we're calling them Ket. Kandros will know more. Maybe too much. You don't trust him? I trust him to defend us. I do not trust a rising military influence in a supposedly civilian initiative. We came here to make history, Ryder. Not repeat it. Ugh, goddamn poetry. There's also the strange technology. Has anyone studied that? We've tried. Not me. The brains in research. They're supposed to know their business. The current excuse? The tech we dug up on Mars was more advanced, but it was plug and go. The tech here thinks different? I don't know. We've mostly avoided it. And from what the Hyperion logs say about Alec, maybe that's good. Okay. Excuse me, Director Addison. Ryder? It's Pathfinder. Ryder, we're starving here. If we don't get a foundation of outposts to feed the initiative, we might as well be 600 years dead. Alec promised a lot. None of it panned out. That's what you're up against. Why people won't trust you. Why I don't trust you. Prove me wrong. Where is the... Where is the option where I can punch her in the face? 
Okay, I am better leave this person before I seriously knock her lights out. Like, I, I just... Like, she reminds me of Bianca right now. Like, I'm, I'm peed out. I'm peeved. <laughs> uh, Rhythmic, you said, I'm just saying, but don't you think it's it'd be best to let her go through this instead of spoiling some of it i mean it's really up to her i well see the thing is uh she i asked i asked earlier um which is why um uh why sh uh, shadow told me because i wanted to know i wanted to know where vetra was that's been true of every world we found Ryder, we were discussing your next expedition i thought it didn't measure up as pathfinder Director Addison keeps her own counsel. I keep mine. And when you disagree? I oversee the entire initiative, and I have decided to give you a chance to prove yourself. Don't worry, Rhythmic, I'm first, the same the way, way right now. Low. Whatever it is, our scientists theorize it's not natural. Mm -hmm. An artificial energy cloud? It wasn't here when we left the Milky Way, yet it rendered all the Golden Worlds unlivable. Then there's the aliens you ran into, the Ket. They're obsessed with alien structures we found scattered around the cluster. They'll do anything to prevent others from accessing them. It seems murder isn't exclusive to the Milky Way. And now the challenge is to settle a world in spite of all that. This one here. Eos. How? Oh. You need to increase the viability of the planet so we can establish an outpost. Then we can bring more colonists out of stasis. The more colonists we have, the more resources we can gather to support the Nexus. Okay. Everything depends on it. There are six worlds we hope to settle. Okay. But you said every planet you found is unlivable. So, how do I... A good Pathfinder would relish the challenge of solving it. Right. I think I should go check on things. <laughs> and if I fail, I guess it's no sweat off your back, right? You'll just look for another Pathfinder? Placing bets on people is part of my job. Some of them pay off. Others... Mm. The way I see it, you need me. If I pull this off, maybe you'll look like the leader you pretend to be. But first, you have to succeed at being the Pathfinder you pretend to be. Where's my ship? They're prepping <laughs> it now in the docking bay. The coordinates for EOS will be in the computer. And when you have a moment, we should discuss the missing arcs. I was wondering about that. Ah. Something oh. wrong. Ryder, can you see me and Sam on the Hyperion? Your implant needs attention, but we need to discuss a confidential matter. No, I'm fine. Oh, Sam. What's going on? All right, let me see what we got here. Let me actually... Nope. Nope. Yes. All right, speak with Sam on the Hyperion. Okay. And do I have any other? Alright, that's the priority. Missing arcs. Okay. What's this? Helios assignment. Okay. Uh, we gotta speak with all these people. My god. We spec spoke with Addison already. Um, let's see. We done that. We done that. Oh, these are, the, these are completed missions. Okay. So what I need to do is go speak with Sam. So we'll do that now. Let's see. And I promise I'll do all that other stuff in the next stream. Uh, right now, I'm just going to do what, um... Whoa! Uh, Dude, you okay? Sorry, let's hey, just talk with him. Okay? I'm fine. Yeah. My arms got the brunt of it. Stuff exploding like this happen often? Back right after the mutiny, we had a lot of this happening. But not lately. I wasn't there during the mutiny. Lucky. I thought we were done with this, honestly. That maybe I was just being paranoid. What is there to be paranoid about? We've had three malfunctions in the past week. That's not good. Sorry, understatement. Yeah. And now I have more repairs. Did you talk to security about this? How can I? For all I know, someone in security is the one doing this. I've scanned all the potential sabotage areas I can think of. But I don't know who to trust anymore. Sounds like a lot went down before the Hyperion docked. Yeah, I guess. Wait. That's it. You can't possibly be involved in this. 
You weren't even here during the mutiny. Would you, if, if you have time? Maybe you could help me if they start hitting critical systems. Of course, yeah. Sure thing. What can I do? If you could scan these other panels while I fix this one, that'd really help. I've sent the locations to your Omni tool. Just send me the data when you're done. Cool. Whoa, uh, running there? And I don't, I don't know. It, it just blew up. Find out why. Be careful. Okay. Probably using the scanner wrong. <laughs> yeah, I'm probably using it wrong. I'll go ahead and just uh, do what I said I was going to do. Run! Wait, why are you telling me to go... Downstairs. Hold on a minute, guys. I'm, I'm I can't believe I'm lost. Oh, okay. So I need to go up. A, I need to go upstairs. No, I'm. I I'm lost. I am legitimately lost. Okay, habitat. I don't even know where I'm at. Keep going down. Okay, I gotta keep going downstairs. So, ah, here we go. Of course. Thank God for the dash. Hey there. You okay? Those guys really grilled you. And Addison. First Pathfinder they've seen in over a year. All she can do is question your competence? I expected something like that. I can handle the pressure. Good to hear. I worked out logistics with Director Tan. They're giving us a ship and crew. He said their best is taking care of it. I still need to head back to the Ark and check in with Sam. Sounds good. While you're there, maybe see how your sister's doing. Yes. Definitely need to take care of Sarah and see how she's doing. There we go. I have to, I have to remember to hold the button, <laughs> not just press it. Okay. Okay. First things first, let's actually go check on Sarah before we do anything else. Wait, is the door to where Sarah is locked? Look at this junk. Okay, can I go through this door? No. Apparently I cannot check on Sarah right now, which kind of sucks. Either that or I'm not in the right place. Okay, let's see here. Atrium, okay. In the atrium, that's not bad. Alright, that's where we need to go. Let me see. Nope. Okay. Uh, you're the captain? Ryder. How you doing? You're not on the bridge, captain? We powered it down. Can't afford to waste energy. Mm -hmm. Though Cryo Bay and Sam Note are exempt. And I told them to keep their hands off Alex quarters. You have access now. Thanks. Hey, sorry about your father. He was really good at what he did. Just not so good at working with people. He was right about going planet side, though. Access to Sam node has now been lifted. I wish you were still here. There's so much you could have taught me. You'll do fine. You're off to a good start. If there's anything else I can help with, let me know. All right. Well, I'll ask all this stuff in another stream. Time. I think. All right. I have requests to submit, administrators to harass, and people to wake up. I'd better get to it. Good luck out there. Alright, I'll get back to it, but I want to see if I can find the Cryo Bay. Let me actually get the map up. Uh, where is Cryo Bay? So, Atrium's this way. What's this? Hyperion. Uh, let's go down a level. Uh, tram system. And... Okay, so this is the Cryo Bay. So what I need to do is... 
Hmm. Hmm. Okay. Well. Here's hoping I do this correctly and I don't screw up. <laughs> Whoa. Ah, uh, thank you. Hey, nice pad, Pop. Papa Ryder had a good place here. Mm hmm. What's on here, Sam? Your father's personal logs. Several of them are encrypted. The day is finally here. We're pushing off from Earth. We'll jump through a few relays first, and then we hunker down for the long trip across dark space. It's daunting thinking about all the hopes and dreams aboard the Hyperion. I certainly have my own. I wasn't the husband or father I should have been. Here's hoping 600 years can change a man. Sam, Ooh. this is a reminder about Dr. Liara to Sony. She's the <gasps> sorry archaeologist I corresponded with a few years back. She's got experience <gasps> studying ancient cultures. Make sure the team gets her research. Could be useful in Andromeda. Pretty sure what? my sister's mentioned Dr. Tassoni. An expert on Protheans, I think. I have loaded Dr. Tassoni's research onto data pads. Nice! Hello, Alec. This is Dr. Tassoni. I'm glad <gasps> you contacted me. Most scientists dismiss my work. But I'm young, and Asari. And they are getting older. So we will see who has the final word. <laughs> in the meantime... I'm happy to pass along my research. I hope your team finds it useful. Hello, Alec. I received your message. I must say the thought of exploring another galaxy has my head spinning. I am honestly not sure how people could survive a trip like that. And anyway, I could not bear to leave the Milky Way behind. There is so much about the Protheans I still hope to learn here. So much potential wisdom to tap. I wish you much good luck and future success. That is nice. That was very nice. I like that. Dunn's agreed to a scouting oh. mission on Habitat 7. I'm gearing up now. I'm worried about Sarah. Dr. Tapero says she'll be fine, but she's my daughter. How can I not worry? I hate to leave her like this. It's these moments when you wish you told your children you love them more often. Or ever. Which brings me to the tough part. Kids, if anything happens to me, there are things you're going to find out. I hope you'll understand. Oh, Papa Rada. Okay. Let's see if we can do these encrypted that logs. Log is inaccessible at this time. That log is inaccessible at this time. Okay, and pretty much all this is encrypted. Like, completely encrypted. Okay. Oh, what's this? What's this? What's this? What's this? What's this? What's this? I am Dr. Liara Tassoni, and I've spent several decades researching ancient Protheans. It is common knowledge that the Protheans were an advanced race that flourished in the Milky Way about 50,000 years ago, then went extinct. Even at the time of this writing, the year 2182, their culture remains a mystery. During my studies, I have developed some practices that can be used when analyzing any ancient culture. I hope they may prove useful for the research community. Nice. And I bet because of her, we were able to do all the scanning and stuff too. When studying a dead race, the most obvious problem is the lack of an observable population. This raises the question. When is a species truly extinct? The Prothean hmm. civilization spanned the galaxy, and it took centuries to confirm that all members of the species really had died out. While it's possible that living Protheans may be found in a hidden pocket of the galaxy one day, the chances are statistically trivial. Once an extinction is confirmed, the study's nature moves from sociology to exoarchaeology. Wait, what? 
<gasps> oh my god, look at it, guys. Look at it, it's so cool. The SSV Normandy SR2. It's a model. I'm taking it. We got it. Oh my god, we got one of... Oh my god, that's so cool. Our weapons. Oh, nice. Let's see, what's over here? Books? Printed books. Reproductions of Lewis and Clark's journals, detailing their expedition in the 19th century. Explains Dad's interest. They were Pathfinders, too. What's this? What's this? When studying an extinct race, it is important that our preconceptions and current knowledge not color the facts. We must look to the evidence itself. The Protheans constructed the Citadel and an incredible network of Mass Effect relays. This speaks to a culture of the highest order. Such a monumental achievement surely must come from an enlightened race that was in harmony with its people, free of conflict and strife. Without the ability to study a living example, however, this can never be determined with 100% accuracy. Hmm. Anything else? Or did I get everything? Oh no, look, coffee machine! <laughs> the coffee machine mom got for dad. He was so busy designing you, needed the caffeine. I did not realize I owed my existence to a bean. And now you know what <laughs> humility feels like. <laughs> okay, okay, that was clever. That was very clever. Okay, uh, well we're done here for now. Uh, let's go ahead and leave. I like how he skids when I turn left and right. Alright. Um, we are going to try and find Sarah for certain. This is the node. Sam's node. So we're going to definitely try to find Sarah after we do the node. And uh, then Hello, find Vetra. Back to Sam, I call it quits. I've adjusted my connection to your implant. The headache you experienced before shouldn't reoccur. Yeah, what was that about? You said we need to discuss something confidential. You should know certain facts before you leave on your expedition. It seemed best we speak alone. I don't understand the need for secrecy. Your father felt it was for the best. What was he trying to hide? My true capabilities. Alec overrode oh. the implant safety protocols. It allows me unrestricted access to the Pathfinder's physiology. And that's me now. And only you. I can act as a force multiplier, dramatically enhancing your motor and neural skills when required. Alec called them profiles. They provide unique tactical augmentation during combat. Your father preferred to keep this fact to himself. I can understand. People might get the wrong idea. Super soldiers. A computer having control over a human. Providing an enhancement to the human. It is a symbiotic relationship that benefits both. What do you get out of it? Though I'm artificial in design, I am fully sentient. Far beyond what even the initiative understands i don't follow you're an ai so what's different i am a new form of ai drawing directly from the human experience your implant is my window into the world okay well just so long as it doesn't hurt the only pain is that which life provides as i've discovered this can be a lesson in itself it's one i'd rather avoid so where do we go from here i find myself in an unusual position Though I had access to your father's experiences, there is a gap in my understanding. How so? Hmm. He placed a block on portions of my memory array. Why? Perhaps so when you asked me what his plan was, I wouldn't know. <sighs> and Dad strikes again. But not without recourse. The further you explore as a Pathfinder, the more blocks will be removed. Perhaps you should begin in your father's quarters. In the meantime, unless you have more questions, your new ship awaits. Thanks. All right, profiles uh, allow Sam to reconfigure Ryder's implants for superior battlefield uh, experience. Select a profile and press A to activate. Well, luckily, Infiltrator's the one I want, so <laughs> let's do it. Uh, invest in combat tech or biotic skills to unlock more powerful profiles in a variety of styles. Okay. Profiles. And this is the one I am doing right now, right? Uh, yes. And it says favorites by pressing that. Oh, nice. Wow, okay. Uh, let's see. Hold on just a moment. Okay, cool. 
Hmm. Welcome back, Scott. All right. Do you know anything more about Sarah's condition? I monitor Dr. Carlyle's reports. He is providing her with the very best care possible. I'm afraid there is nothing more to be done at this time. That's all for now. Of course. Yes, definitely all for now. All right, let's do a brand new save, and then let's get. Let's. Can I actually go and see her? Is that even possible? Like, I want to actually go and physically see, see her. Let me see here, actually. Let me do something real quick. Um, Alright, so here is where I can go. Oh! You know what? Okay, fine. You know what? We'll quickly do this and then we'll go to the ship. Because I really do want to see Vetra. I do want to meet up with her, finally. Ooh! Sam? What was that? An eidetic trigger related to your father and the portions of my memory array he locked. What triggered it? Alec tied it to your progression as Pathfinder, not to a location. Puzzling as it may be, my programming is clear. Locating more of these triggers will unlock the memories. One of your father's memories is now accessible. Return to Samnode on the Hyperion to investigate further. Yikes, there's gonna be a lot of stuff to do in this game, like seriously. Alright, let's see what I, it is. The blocks your father placed on my array are opening. I can now recall specific memories which Alec wanted you to see. Wait, I can actually see his memories? Yes, you will experience them via your implant. Okay, something new every day. Let's see it. This memory is from the time when your father was posted on the Citadel. Ooh. Alec, your recommendations will never fly. Artificial intelligence? It's our best option. If the Council gets wind of this, it'll set humanity standing back decades. You're overreaching. Ambassador Goyle, I'm the military attaché on the Citadel. My mandate is clear. Find an edge for Earth. An AI is your answer? We need to catch up. The Asari, the Salarians, they're centuries ahead of us. But it's illegal. Their rules, not ours. Why deny Earth an advantage? Define this advantage. It will set us free. We're prisoners of our own five senses. There's a reality greater than ours that we can't perceive, but an AI can. How? By augmenting our own abilities and adding a few new ones. Well, none of that stopped those Geth from revolting. Because they were separate from their creators. But AIs and humans interface directly, experiencing the world together, benefits both. There's no creator to revolt against. I'm sorry, Alec. We can't take the risk. I appreciate your work, but your request will be denied. <sighs> Alec? Ellen. What did the doctor say? He told me to appreciate the time I have left. There's no cure, Alec. It's terminal. Not on my watch. Wow. Hearing Mom again. I never knew that's how Dad found out. Alec was a stubborn man. I would hope so. Mom's life was worth fighting for. It would seem his obstinance extended to me as well. Nobody wanted to listen. The idea of you scared people too much. After this, Dad moved us back to Earth to care for Mom. Wonder why he wanted me to see this. Perhaps it was the beginning. Of what? Unknown. Private audio logs are now available in your father's quarters. I detect additional memories, but they are currently locked. They may yet hold answers. Okay, I'll keep working on it. That's all for now. Of course. Okay, so that is actually a very interesting backstory right there with uh, with Alec Ryder, Papa Ryder. Man. Apparently she, uh, Mama Ryder had a, a terminal illness. That sucks. God. Like, we don't really know much about what's going on with characters, like, backstory-wise. We only know from what we've heard. And now here we are, and we're playing Andromeda. 
Which is so exciting, guys. Alright, I don't know if I'm able to get to where Sarah is. So we're just gonna go ahead and get to the ship. And when we do, we'll stop it there. Like, as, as soon as I find, find Vetra, I'm, just, I'm definitely gonna stop it there. Because it's already 2 o'clock in the morning. I'm tired. <laughs> okay. Yep, load. Now hold on, let me actually check something. I'm not gonna go anywhere, I'm just gonna check something. What was it, this? Uh, use. What's it say? Okay. Initiate desk. Oh, it's taking me. Whoops. Well, I didn't think it was gonna take me, I thought it was gonna do something to the screen. I'm. It's really hard to read the words, especially since the, the, the game is minimized a little bit. So, let me see where it took me, though. Like, it said operations, I think, so apparently I went to operations? I don't know. Is that where I was supposed to go? Let's see. Uh, cryo bay... And let me see what this does. This is operations. Okay, well that doesn't help me none. Alright, journal. Uh go to your ship. Okay. Well that like I said, that 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 does not help me. So I'm I definitely went the wrong way. Okay, so that's where operations lead. Okay, cool. Ah, uh, docking bed. There we go. Yes. We're going to the docking bay. Pathfinder en route. How's the ship? In final checks, looking great. <gasps> we won't be long. The way things are going, we'll be on our own out there. In other words, we're making this up as we go. <laughs> we used to call that tactical improvisation. But at least we'll be doing it in style. Nice. They call her the Tempest. Oh, she's so shiny. Dude, you're right, Willow. Like, oh my god. Let's go take a closer look. Yeah, she's so sparkly. Let's pick it up a bit, people. We're four <gasps> minutes late. Petra. So you're the one who's making everything happen. Vetra. <laughs> Vetra Nix. Initiative Wrangler, Provisioner, Gunner, and everything in between. Are we ready? The sooner we get out of here, the better. You're coming with us? Yes. Otherwise, there's no way they're letting this ship off the station. What's the rush? Just don't want to waste any more time. Hold it, hold it. You're not going anywhere. Damn it. Is something wrong? Director Addison wants to see a complete report of the Tempest supplies, munitions, and crew. Director Tan overruled Addison. The ship's loaded out with equipment for outpost discovery, squarely under Director Addison's purview. Seen you around. Ben, right? Came here with the family, didn't you? Son still in cryo? I could pull some strings, get him to the front of the line. Really? Yeah, really. They told me he wasn't essential, but I miss him. I know. I got family too, Ben. It's done. <sighs> Addison's gonna kill me. Nicely done. Part of the job, Pathfinder. All things considered, it was an easy ask. And right now, you need people tearing down obstacles, not putting up more. <laughs> I like her. Clearly, someone who cares about doing stuff and not just talking about it. Agreed. <laughs> oh my god. <gasps> Initiated. 
achievement unlocked. <laughs> oh my god, we're gonna try and talk to her. I wanna talk to her. I'm so excited. It's Vetra. Oh, please, just let me go straight to Vetra. No, no stopping in between. None of that. Just straight to Vetra. Save. Talk to Vetra. Save again, because I'm weird. <laughs> <laughs> Please load faster. Oh my god. Oh my god. Please load. Everything's state of the art. Labs, sensors, exploration gear. Lesser crew, of course. The best in their field. Glad to see you're doing so well, Scott. The engine core is based on the Ark's Odyssey drive. It runs a hell of a lot quieter. That's Gil Brody. Engineer, mechanic, all-around wrench jockey. We call this the research room. There's space for upgrading equipment, gathering intel. Router engaged. Securing connection to Tempest. Welcome aboard, Sam. And Ryder, of course. All run by Suvi Anwar, our science officer. Your quarters Sweet. are below. Plenty of space up here to get everyone together. It's all yours. She's light, stealthy, and the fastest ship in her class. <sighs> it's really going to be something, isn't it? I haven't even shown you the best part. Ooh. When you're ready to fly, head over to the bridge. Our pilot should have everything good to go. Nice. You're right, there she is. Oh my god. Look at his face. Level up! <laughs> Three skill points. Alright, let's quickly do this. Um, yeah, Vedra! <laughs> oh my god! She's so beautiful! Like, hot damn. She's beautiful. Oh my god. Power armor? Okay. Custom armor hardens and activates reinforcing shields, providing her with... Ooh, nice. Uh, concussion shot. So basically, she's like female Garrus. <laughs> Train smuggler. Combination of Vetra's military training and her experience as a smuggler improves her offensive capabilities. Ooh, Vetra's gear and training improves her ability to survive hostile encounters. Ooh, and she's got four points. Okay, so I think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and give her a concussion shot. And I think, um, one towards defensive expert and let me actually see what power armor rank 2 does uh, plus 20 recharge speed all right let's do 0.2 25 max shields is that right yeah first one was 25 percent max health this is 25 percent max shields or 25 plus 25 yeah and uh, okay weapon and ooh, turbo shot no I can't do turbo shot yet I need 10 more skill points infested invested 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 I did this before. I said that before. I got done that before. Okay. Um. I think what we're gonna do is we're gonna do one more in, or those last two points there. That way we've um. No, oh, eighteen. It says eighteen, not ten. Whoops. Can't read. <laughs> All right. She's done. Yes. Confirm. Let's go to Liam and actually uh do his points. Which I think he's got what? He's got two points. Okay. Let's do two in him. Let's actually give him one here, and uh, we'll do defense. Just so we can have him ready for the next time we take him out. Cora, let's see what Cora's got. And she's a biotic, so we're definitely going to try and boost up her biotic skills. Uh, let's see. Uh, she's got two points. Uh, this does plus 25% damage radius. Nice. So, let's see. Defensive training. Yeah, you know what? We're going to go ahead and give her two, the rank two. So that way we can start working on her Nova ability, which is pretty nice. Alright, let's do one combat. Let's see. Uh, an Omni Grenade. Mm hmm. Alright. Combat. We're gonna do one combat fitness, I think. Wow, 2% maximum health increased? Really? Really? Okay, well, let's quickly look at tech then. Okay. Mm hmm. Duration. Power. Invasion. Which, what does invasion infects opponents? Okay, that's right, I saw it before. Uh, flamethrower. Hmm. Energy drain. Uh, restore shields by sapping. Ooh. Ooh. Yep. 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 
Alright, we got two points. So I think I want to do it in cryo beam, uh, in the cryo beam, because we are definitely going to need those ice abilities. Alright. Next time I level him up, I'll work on, uh, ooh, nice. Engineer unlocked. The engineer profile is now at rank one. Ooh, nice. In fact, let's actually look at that. Let's see, engineer. Uh, engineer does 25, uh, skill points invested in tech. Uh, it does 20% to all combos, tech constru uh, construct health, tech construct health regeneration, tech construct damage, and tech restoration and defense. And I got this, which is 20% accuracy and stability in weapons, tech recharge, and weapon headshot slash weak point bonus. Nice. We're going to keep it on Infiltrator, just in case. Uh, let's go ahead and do a brand new save. Better head to the bridge when we're ready to go. The meeting room. After you can make vid calls from the central table, or just get the crew together. Uh, let's see. What's that say? Well, let's use it. No calls to make. Okay, that's fine. That's perfectly fine. We are gonna go find Vetra. <laughs> so we can talk to her. We call this the research room. You can run research projects and coordinate with the Nexus from here. Oh, and here is where we can do... I bet it's where we can do the multiplayer is from there, I think. Ooh. Our tech lab is an engineer's dream. It's perfect for any delicate technical work. Nice. Some serious kill over here. Would you stop saying that? That's the bio lab. We can grow plants for food and oxygen and keep any specimen safe. Nice. What's this? Huh. Well, you know, I'm really glad that they have this ability where you can zoom in. Like, I love that. Alright, that's where I just was. So let's go back downstairs. Let's... Can we go through this? Uh... Oh, yes, I can. Okay, good. Vetra! 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 Hi. Securing cargo and checking everything made it on board. The bridge report's ready. The bridge report's ready. What? What? I... Am I not allowed to speak with you? Alright, there's Gil. This is the, the drive core. Nice, 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 nice. But it's not nice that I can't talk to. Oh, well, that happened. Wait. Cora, you're over here? You're probably above my head, of course. Let's see, and... Vetra, how did you get... No, I'm not gonna even ask. I'm pretty sure she'll repeat what I what she just said to me just moments before, so I won't ask her, or won't talk to her again at least. And that kind of stinks because I really want to talk, talk, talk to her. You know, I want to actually have a conversation with dialogue choices and things, not just. Never mind. All right. Okay. Alright, alright, alright. And then, uh, she said that. Shh. Okay. Oh, is there. Okay, it's a glad. Of course, I'm, I'm done. <laughs> Just. Okay, let's go through here. Yeah, that's right. Open sesame. This is the crew quarters. Most of the crew bunks in here. Cozy, huh? But your room's got more of a view. Let's see. Uh, anyone want to help me move a couch? Not right now, but I'll keep you on my list, especially if you're biotic and can drop the weight. Put your back, uh, wait, pay you back in beer or whatever. Also, we, uh, or what, uh, whatever else we find. Liam, com comments. Are you serious? Uh, Suvi, I never joke about comfortable seating. Liam. <laughs> Welcome to your info board. Congratulations, Path on the Rinder, on successful installation of your info board. V. Yeah, blah, blah, blah. And then comments say, okay, I've set up everyone's user accounts. Have at it. 
sweet. Thank you. Thank you, Cora. Nice, nice, nice. And the bathroom, of course. And the kitchen. Nice. So weaponry, and we got some food cookware, of course. Alright, let's go inside. These are the Pathfinder's quarters. Your quarters. Sam's router is down there, too. Nice. <gasps> Armor and clothing customization. Yes. Hold on now. Hold on. Alright, so we got long sleeves, short sleeves, and then we've got jacket. Armor customization. Default. Auto tent. Custom tents. So let's see. Default. No, let's do custom tents. Okay, how about auto tent? No? Like, oh, customized colors. There we go. Uh, I actually really like the red and black, so we'll just leave it. Noob, I wasn't done. I I wasn't done. Hmm. Alright, so I can customize the colors right now. Let's see. There we go. For some reason it was gone. Oh. Actually, let's make that black. Nice. Can I make it dark red? No, let's make it black. Make it black. And then this is white. That's... Okay, so that's that color. So let's actually make that maybe a, like a grayish. Yeah. And then turn the blue to red. Not too bright of a red, though. Actually, yeah, let's make it bright red. No, oh, not that bright. Hmm. Does that look good? Looks good to me. What do you guys think? Does that look good? I like that. It actually kind of, like, fits more, I guess is the best way I can explain it. I really like that. Okay. Nice. So let's go ahead and just pick jacket. If I'm correct... Is that the jacket that you get uh, from the DLCs? Or not DLCs, uh, skis, blah, C's, excuse me. Um, I don't know. Either way, it's customized, and that's a, not a thing. And this is where we can pretty much go wherever we want, right? Or just, like, have a certain selected enemy? I don't know. God, this is such a nice, nice captain's quarters. I love it here. Ooh, what's that? What's it say? Oh! <gasps> got the hoodie. I got the helmet. <gasps> it's a cute rocket. Mine. Alright. Let's see. Uh, what's this say? It is. That's Sam. And it's my email terminal. Let's see. We... <gasps> Pijack. Yeah. Um, we haven't met, but my colleagues and I uh, in the Nexus, uh, work in the ne Nexus Tech Labs. Uh, given the Tempest is likely to be in space a while, might you help us with an experiment? We want have an we have an interesting chap here on the Nexus, a young Pijack, what humans sometimes call a space monkey. He's part of a study on how various species adapt to spaceboard life or uh, shipboard life, and we're hoping that you're or that you might take him aboard the Tempest. We can pick him up. And you can pick him up from the Nexus comments whenever you like. Don't worry, he's quite friendly, and he his routines are very simply. No food. Wait. And his routine's very simple. No food after 2359. No baths or showers. And please limit his exposure to solar radiation. Oh my God. It's a gremlin! It, the space monkey's a gremlin. He's a gremlin. <laughs> Basically, no food after midnight. <laughs> no baths or showers, and <laughs> please limit his exposure to solar radiation. <laughs> oh, it's basically a gremlin. Acknowledge. <laughs> oh, all right. Uh, writer, um, two writer from Q 
Mercury Divisa. Hello, Pathfinder. I'm a freelance vid maker. And I could really use your help with my latest project. I'm going to be uh, it's going to be historical. I hope, just like your mission. Can we get on the Nexus for a chat? I can explain better in person. Yes. Hmm. Let's see. Archive, and we'll actually keep that one up, so I can actually look at it later. I can now go pick up my space monkey. And let me see. Now that I've got that, let's actually go back over here. And yep, there it is. Oh my god. <laughs> it looks so cool. Let's actually change them. Can we, we can we change the colors now? So let me see. This is the part that was red, right? Yeah. What? No, go back. Yep. Uh, color two. Actually, yeah. Okay, this is what we're gonna do. We're gonna make that nice and red. We're gonna make that part black. And yeah, we're gonna keep that black. <laughs> just, just cause he looks so good. <laughs> God, it looks so great. I'm so awful. Switch to the hoodie. Let's see. It actually doesn't look bad now that we fixed it up a little bit differently there. And that looks good. And so does this. Alright, but yeah, I'm definitely gonna be wearing the hoodie for a while, and I may switch to jacket, and then uh, also short sleeves. I don't really care for long sleeves. I like when his sleeves are, are shortened up. But for right now, we're gonna be wearing a hoodie for a while. <laughs> now, armor. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. Actually, back off here a minute, and let's just take a look at some inventory. Let's see, armor inventory? Where is that? Is that, is, that, is that in the right place? Yes, I'm in the right place. Okay, so we got the uh, the initiative helmet. Then we got the Andromeda Elite helmet, the Deep Space Explorer helmet, and the Scavenger helmet. Nice. I think it's an uncommon helmet. This is what we got. I think this is what we got during the initiative, uh, like doing the Andromeda initiative thing. So plus 10% enc uh, encounter XP increase. Nice. And 4% max shield. Nice. This does plus 10. Okay, so that does plus 10. And max ammo and, ma and weapon weight. Okay. I think I'll do this one for right now because it does give me plus 4% on shields. So. Um, wait, can I not wear it? Hmm. Oh, my chest. Uh, yep. Nice. Or maybe I'm not strong enough to wear them. I'm wondering if that might be it. Hmm. Yeah, it might be. I'm not, that might be the reason why. All right, so I got new weapons, all that good jazz. I finally got me a shotgun. So I'm really gonna have to learn how to do the like how to equip weapons. For some reason, I feel like I'm not I'm not smart enough to <laughs> learn how to equip anything here. So, all right. A lot of blueprints. That's not bad. Quickly go through all of them just so we can get the blue dots off. And not gonna go through all those. And I'm not gonna go through all those. So I that's good. So we got our armor, we got our pieces of armor, and we got our weapons. So yay. That's beautiful. It worked. And I think that's it. Cause I don't I don't know if we can talk to Vetra right now, but it's already late. It's like two sixteen. So you know what? This is where we're gonna we're gonna go ahead and call it quits here. If I can find a good lighting, which it's, imp it's impossible with this game. Oh, ladders. Yes, use the ladder. I was about to say, please don't make me have to push up on the stick. Uh, go to the loadout station to equip things. Okay. I just started a darn. Oh well. <sighs> we are in awe. <laughs> Departure trajectory locked, Nexus Control. Ah, time for introductions. Callow! You must be Ryder. Callow Jab. A pleasure to be here. And to meet you, of course. I'll be piloting the Tempest at your word. Quite the ship. But it'll take a Pathfinder's guidance to see us through Helios. Uh. 
I'm new to this. Being a Pathfinder running a ship? You'll be fine. As for the ship, I can help. I knew the Tempest when she was a blueprint. <laughs> I was test pilot for the Tempest's early prototypes. I admit, I'm itching to see how she performs out here. <laughs> Let me love you, Kalo. So how do I... The console oh, syncs with your implant. Just swipe, touch a destination here, and the nav system calculates everything. Very efficient. It was optimized for a Pathfinder. Everything's secure, if you're ready. Is anyone ready for something this big? We signed on for the big stuff when we came to Andromeda. All right. Excuse me. Excuse me. <laughs> Command access is transferring successfully. Uh, science and monitoring stations look fine. Lexi's reporting in. Helm is green. Gil reports the drive core is online. This is it, Ryder. The Tempest is yours. Unless you've got something to say for the log. We were all expecting a golden world. Now there's just a long road ahead. But hold on to that dream. It might see us through. Nexus Control, this is the Tempest, Ident 2527, prepping to depart. Oh my god. The Tempest is so sexy right now. Like, holy hell. Departure vector verified, Tempest. Godspeed, Pathfinder. Oh my god. What would have been our habitat one? Two failed outposts put an end to the idea. Maybe we can turn things around. Callow, take us in. Ha. Ha. This is, this is so cool. Andromeda Initiative Habitat 1, designated EOS. It was supposed to be an easy first step. Until no one else showed and we got clobbered. Twice. Why has Sam altered frequency detection? What are we hearing, Sam? There is a signal, Pathfinder. I recommend an immediate examination of EOS. Okay. Uh, Shadow, you said it's in the room before the cockpit area. Then you see a door on the right or left side. It's in one of those doors. Okay. Wait. Okay, anomaly has been apparently detected here. God, this is so cool. Oh, there it is. We just passed its moon. Ah. A mirror of the signal on habitat 7. Possible atmospheric manipulation. Is that possible? We'll find out. If it is like Habitat 7, no doubt we'll run into the cat. <sighs> wow. Okay, so this is the landing zone that we could do. Okay, that's good. All right, let me actually. Can I? No, that's system view. I'm Whoops. Up something. It's definitely because of this. It's the anomaly is mainly here. All right, let's see. Uh, y to exit. Okay. I have to hold it. All right. Oh, and look, there it is, right there. It's so cool. Callo. Okay. All right, we're gonna try and talk to Vetra now. Now that uh, we have the ability to, or at least I think we have the ability to talk to her. Can I fall down here? Nope. Ryder, when you've got a minute, stop by the med bay. 
Uh, I haven't in a minute because I definitely want to talk to Vetra right now. <laughs> Vetra, Vetra, Vetra. Pathfinder, Rider to Engineering. Repeat, Rider to Engineering. <laughs> Shit, is this thing on? <laughs> Whoops. All right, now where are you, Vetra? That was a late uh, reaction there. Okay. Wait, I have a map. Liam? There's Vetra! Alright, where's my waypoint? Is this my waypoint? Yes, it is. Open sesame. Oh, hey, Pathfinder. The Pathfinder's there? Let me say hi. Fine, but don't embarrass me. Ryder, this is Sid, my sister. Sid, Ryder. Let me guess. Little sister? Who are you calling little? Look, kiddo. Gotta go. Wait, Ryder, I just wanted to know if... <laughs> so I know it feels like I just jumped aboard your ship without explanation? I would have done the same just to get off the Nexus. That's not why I came. Sure, I want to explore the galaxy, but I'm really here to work. I know everyone on the crew, even the actuators Gil prefers for the ship. Better, I know how to get my hands on them. With me around, your crew's going to be at their best. We've been failing for months, Ryder. Now that we have you, we have a chance out here. Ooh. Wow, that's some laser focus. Yeah? Was it too much? Some people get intimidated. We need that sort of drive. I just hope I can keep up. You'll keep up. And I promise I won't tell if you don't. I should track down a lead for Gil's actuators. Back channels, you know. We'll chat later. <laughs> of course. Actually, let me just try one thing. I always have time for you. I'll let you go. You probably have work to do. We can chat later. You know where to find me. We're gonna talk to you in the next stream. <laughs> I finally did it, guys. That was the start. It was the start. It was the start of a beautiful relationship we're gonna be having with Vetra. I don't care. We're gonna romance this Turian if it's the last damn thing I do. <laughs> okay, guys. I'm tired. I'm very exhausted. <laughs> Uh, let's see, hold on real quickly. Shadow, you said, oh, I'm so dumb. I talked to Sid not long, uh, on <laughs> Oh, <laughs> Willow's like, yay, heart. <laughs> uh, okay, but yeah, guys, I'm like really tired. It's already 2.25 in the morning. I'm freezing from sitting here, and I am just... Sitting here nonstop playing games and maybe taking a couple sips out of my two drinks that I made. Yeah, probably not good. <laughs> uh, but luckily, I, had, I didn't need to eat nothing <laughs> in those few hours. <laughs> Alright, well, enough's enough. I had a blast! I cannot wait to continue playing this tomorrow. Of course, after we do some fun multiplayer with Willow. <laughs> Excited. I cannot wait to try the multiplayer out. Um, okay, well, anyway, guys, I do appreciate y'all coming by. I want to thank uh, Rhythmic Blue, who is known as Justin C. Dub, um, Gluji, uh, obviously my, uh, my friend uh, Adam's o Adam over on Gamers Platform, um, Lady Willow, and I th think there might have been one other person as well hosting me, but everyone right there that I just named, all of you hosted excuse me, hosted me. I want to appreciate, I appreciate everyone coming and joining and having fun. Especially you, Willow. I'm so happy you, were st you stayed with me, like, from beginning to end. I'm so excited and happy. And I know I'm excited, too, for the, for the multiplayer. I cannot wait. So, once again, thank you guys so much for watching this entire episode. This will be, like, my first full f episode. It's gonna be all up on YouTube tomorrow. Later today. It'll, it won't be up at 11, but it'll be up a little bit later, so. Definitely when I can get the chance. Um, I really need to find a really nice thumbnail for this now <laughs> all right guys thank you so much for watching i'm tired do a couple things and i'm gonna go to bed so yeah 
I'm Kat the Gamer Gal, signing off until next time. And remember, be cool, play it safe, and stay awesome tastic. Now, we ride. Dun, 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 dun. That was awful, I'm sorry. <laughs> okay, okay. Good night, guys. Actually, what am I doing? No, let's just let's just wait with Vetra. Like that's just the because we're gonna talk to her tomorrow after the multiplayer. <laughs> let's just, yeah, let's just save. That's right. Let's just let's just let's just save. That's right, Willow. We ride. <laughs> oh, Vetra, Rider's gonna give you the ride of your life. You will ride. The writer. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna stop, guys. I'm sorry. <laughs> we need to have so many puns with writer's name now. Okay. Good night, everybody. <laughs>